Hello and welcome. Hi. Uh, this is another uh, edition of yes. From Retro to Right Now. Yes. Uh, we are Four Point Toys. I'm Justin. I'm Penelope. Uh, we're husband and wife. No. Um, no. We have a toy store here in southern New Jersey, but we love to sit and talk about toys, and this is kind of the way we uh, share our love for the toys with you guys. Um, we started doing this with... Uh, Man, just talking about collections, right? Since we oh, have a museum here. Yeah, in the store. this started uh, years ago. We just started talking about stuff we thought was cool, yep. and we're continuing that. So we're going a yeah. little harder here on YouTube, harder. and um, <laughs> <laughs> this might be PG thirteen. It's a lot PG. of our streams are. Yeah. So this is different than most toy reviews, unboxings, and 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 those kind of things. This is more of a toy talk. Um, we have a live audience. We do this live yes. on Facebook with our Patreons. With our VIP. Our VIP Patreons. There's a yes. link above my wife's head. Right above my head. Um, to join <laughs> us for the live talk. And they're all saying hi to us right yes, now in the comments. Yeah. To join us, you have to become a member, a supporter of our Patreon, and you will get a link on our Facebook group, access to our secret Facebook group. Secret. And you will be able to you just keep repeating <laughs> I things. I do, that, because like, you wanted to do this like intro this time, and I was like, okay, go for I it. I want to get through the intro so we yeah. can say hi to our VIPs. <laughs> yes. That's really what it comes down to. Because uh, if we just start saying hi, the people that are watching this on YouTube for the first time are going to be like, what like, are they doing? Why are they saying hi to so a bunch of people? <laughs> there, there are live people interacting with us here, and people that are more knowledgeable than we are. Um, sometimes we have special guests pop in. We do. Uh, but we have some great uh, Patreon supporters and, and people who contribute uh, and are very knowledgeable, and we love talking about toys. And we're that's what all, this is. We're all nerds. We all, yeah. And I mean that in the best possible way. We all love talking about stuff that excites us. Yep. Um, nothing excites me more than Dungeons & Dragons. Yep. So uh, we're going down a road. We're starting down a road today. A very long road. So now let, now we're going to say yes. hi to our patrons. <laughs> because, uh, you know, Mark, Alex, Tara are hanging with us live. This yes. is going to be uploaded to YouTube. Yeah. Not live. No. So you'll be seeing this tonight. Are we doing it live? Or later we're on. Doing we're doing it live. live. We're doing it live. So um, Alex actually said that this die is comically large. So I ran to the restroom before the stream, and as I was running back, I, I found this on a shelf, and I thought I'd bring it. It's not just a giant 20-sided die. It's one of those, like, um, magic eight balls. Oh, you're going to roll for initiative? Well, it's D&D flavored, so, like... I don't know. I'm just going to... A bugbear yeah. smashes you. Well, no. Like, what does it say? This says, yes, but only if you're playing third edition. So, you know. Anyway. Yeah. Um, it's I'm fun. drinking my coffee Exciting. with my uh, with my fruity... My, my Cocoa Pebbles, Cocoa Pebbles. Creamer. What would Fruity Pebbles Creamer taste like? Not as good as Cocoa... So, Listen. We've, got, we've got Mark and Dina here. We've got Alex here. We've got Tara here. Some of our VIPs like to be incognito, so I see there's yeah, four yeah. or five other people in here, too, that aren't, um, aren't chatting just yet. Hi, Let's everyone. talk about Fruity and Cocoa Pebbles real quick. Because this is uh, how we do we're it. We're always off the road. This is our style tour review. If you're here just to get the minutia, we'll bring that too. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you skip ahead. Because now we're just going to hang out but and talk for a minute. if you want to find out who the hottest D&D toy no. is, this is the place to go. It's obviously, it's obviously <laughs> War Duke. I mean, right? I don't know. So I think Skyla's pretty hot. Um, I have to talk about this. <laughs> Cocoa Pebbles <laughs> is superior to Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Only because of the chocolate milk at the end. So I think the best... I agree with you on that. But I think the best fruity milk is probably Trix. No. It, the next is, is Fruity Pebble. I, I mean, think that Trix has best No, it's been scientifically milk. proven. No. So, LJN Toys. Proven. No. Um, We're going to chat about them a little bit. Yeah. So, LJN <laughs> Toys started in 1970, I believe. Um a smaller toy company, you know, they were up against uh, Hasbro. And, well, the thing about LJN is, um, so Mego was really big in the '70s, and I think LJN had some some franchises. Uh, what are you looking for? I'm looking for the Fortress of Fangs that we're putting together. I have it over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to be assembling a Fortress of Fangs that's never yes. been assembled before. Which a, is not this one. This is this is the one that we do have that's yep. already assembled, stickers, everything. But I wanted to put this yes. here first so you get an idea of, of what it's going to look like. <laughs> um, Veronica is also here. The, the Fortress of Fangs we're going to be assembling. about uh, Pebbles. Oh, yes. We're, we're, this is not a <laughs> review about Cocoa Pebbles. So it should be. I mean, you we'll, we'll do that up. next. Um, <laughs> right now, Cocoa Pebbles. That's right. Bonnie! Stop. So, um, <laughs> the one we're going to be assembling has never been assembled. It's it's fresh fresh from a box. The box was not a box anymore. It the was, box was completely yes. destroyed. It was essentially like cardboard, hang right. paper, paper hanging on by this, a hope. This, I personally collect LJN D&D. My wife collects the books. Yeah, we set, we set up some set dressing yeah. here behind us today just for like fun. So, this was, an, this was my... <laughs> 
not from childhood, but but mine from my collection. And it's in really nice shape, but it's not complete. And I don't think before I bought this one from the box that I've ever seen a complete one because there's a lot of little there's minutia always, that breaks easy. Yes. Um, it's a fantastic playset. It's Very one. Of, cool. It's one of the best 80s toys play sets. And we'll get to this in a minute. But I want to talk about LJN for a minute. Uh, I think they started around the, in the early 70s. 1970, I think. And um, they had a couple franchises. And I think they were competing with Mego. And Mego then had the World's Greatest Superheroes and a lot of other franchises. And they were 6-inch, you know, posable yeah. fabric dolls. I liked... Mattel well, also had some. Is doll the right word? Action figures. Were they action figures by yeah, the way? Yeah, they were Yes, because okay. 64 is when G.I. Joe. G.I. Yes. Joe, yeah. Invented the so G.I. Joe came out in 64, invented the phrase action figure. Everything else that boys played with ever, ever since has yeah. been an action figure. Yeah. So uh, they had they had franchises like SWAT and Emergency. Like 70 mm -hmm. shows... Yeah. You know, Mego had chips. Oh, yeah, and they had... LJN had Dukes. SWAT. They had Dukes. That had, oh, no, we're talking about Mego. Mego had Dukes, Versus, yeah, but Mego they also did three and three-quarter Dukes later on in the 70s. Yeah. But I think um, LJN didn't have any big properties until, like, I think they had... They got Magnum P.I., which there's not a lot of toys of, and the toys of Magnum P.I. Are, are pretty rare. Yes, a car, too, right? A, a Ferrari, his car. yeah. He comes with his car. I think a lot of them like I don't know much about it, and this is not a Magnum PI review. If we ever get some <laughs> of that stuff, I'll do it. We kind of ramble all over the place. But so um, then they had e the ET license. Oh, and that was went, just before the uh, D and D license. They went, uh, they went crazy with that. So they, I think they did the finger. I'm not sure, but they did a lot of like wind up ET stuff. Uh, but really, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons was their, as far as I know, their first big franchise well was it uh i don't want to get too into the minutia but the battlematic action was that invented with Dungeons and dragons figures because i know they recycled that kind of idea for, for thundercats. thundercats right ever since i i believe so i don't know what other maybe some of the other toys they made weren't uh you know licensed and they were just ljn toys yeah. Um, they, and maybe that came before, but as far as I know, far off the rails. in series two of these action figures, this, the, them, this line only lasted two years, 83 and 84. Yeah. And in series two, they introduced what's called Battlematic and sheer, Shield Shooting, which had yeah. gimmicks. It's they released kind of the same figures. That move yeah, and arms with a switch, that swing, that, you know, things, things like that. that did things. And we'll review the figures at some point. Yeah. Uh, I personally own a, well, we own, we, because we're it, married. Well, yeah, I mean, you can have the toys, but all the books and games are all mine. So. We have a complete you collection. Can say you. you can say so you, can say So we can show the difference <laughs> between a, uh, a regular Series 1, you with know, exact, Braveheart, yeah. and a Series 2, Strongheart. Battle Mart. Yeah, Strongheart, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I was born in 1975. I was born in 1979. Um, as much as I love D&D, &D, I was introduced to the concept of D&D &D by my sister, who is eight years older than me. By the time she was playing D&D, &D, she was too old for t toy toys. Yeah. So I totally missed the D&D &D toys as a kid. They went right over my head. Um, well, I, went, I went right from I was the right with, age. Yeah, I, was, I went right from playing with My Little Ponies to playing D&D &D with my sister and her friends. Um, there was no middle ground. For me, my first toys were Star Wars. You know, I was born in 75, oh, yeah, so 70... 70 79 when Star Wars and 80 when Star Wars really started to hit I was 5 years old my mother was buying them all for me yeah. but G.I. Joe in 82 I was 7 that was it and I think I was so inundated I was so overwhelmed with G.I. Joe in 82 that when 83 this came out it wasn't even on my radar yeah. now I remember going to friends houses um, I remember a friend had this and I was always like I always thought it was cool and was confused by it, but I was like, well, my G.I. Joes wouldn't play here, so I don't care. Why not? This would be a great... Come on. Like, this would not be perfect my for GI Cobra. Joes, my early couple years of G.I. Joe was like, they were like military guys. Mark, they hadn't Mark. started fighting. Hold on. Okay. They hadn't started like <laughs> fighting in the pyramids and all that stuff yeah. yet. You know? But it's shaped like a snakehead. It is. It would have been a great Cobra. Yeah. Um, Mark is awesome. Mark is here. One of our VIPs is uh, is, is being our, our fact checker for us. D&D, uh, &D, it was LJN's first test run for the action gimmick, like, like we thought. Like you were just saying. Yeah. So then LJN went went crazy with the action gimmick. Everything you know, happened after that. <laughs> uh, Thundercats, you know, I mean, all their lines, I think, had some sort of... Thundercats had it. Um, you know, Mattel, I don't know if Mattel got their own idea or if Mattel kind of stole it, but um, with so He-Man... Our... He -Man. He man has all kinds of oh yeah swinging hips and all that stuff yeah all kinds I, of stuff. I, I, gimmicks never really did it for me with toys GI Joe wasn't really into the gimmicks until they had no. rocket firing things yeah. so I had friends that had some D and D stuff and I remember going to friends' houses and seeing this and thinking it was cool but it didn't lend itself to my military GI Joe thing so I wasn't I didn't ask for it for Christmas you weren't into Cobra Law yet because this would have gone right. right with them 
Well, that was, you know, see, that's years it's later. Face on that guy. Wow. Uh, it's a face only a child could love. According to the ad, according yeah. to the uh, LJ and ad of the time. So this launched, I believe, right with the initial toy line. Uh, it's cool. the only place that they had plans for another play set. They did, but they never came to fruition. Never came to fruition. Uh, if you look at the ads for this, um, one thing about LJN, there's a lot of paint variations, but the ads, the, the, the colors of some of this stuff was different. It's different, yeah. Um, like the throne and the wings. Yeah, I think the gargoyle guy was... A different color. Totally black instead yep, of purple and black. Exactly. So um, I remember seeing figures like War Duke. You know, as a kid, I saw him and I was like, wow, he is awesome he was not on my radar so i was i was not i didn't have any of the toys i wasn't after the toys they weren't um uh they weren't really uh something i was after it wasn't something yeah. i played with they, they weren't on you know, um, just like but i like this and i like the look of war duke but yeah. I, I as a toy line i wasn't really like enamored or i didn't really know much about it but the cartoon well, yeah, was like cartoon, my favorite cartoon. Yeah, the cartoon is a world in and of and itself. And the cartoon is what really... I didn't even know this was Dungeons and Dragons when I saw it. Yeah. I just was well, like, oh, the, it's weird. It's another good thing to mention is that the toy line, there were no regular release figures from the show as toys. I believe War Duke crossed over and he's the he, only one. He, well, strong, I think Strongheart may have it as well. I don't oh, yeah, how. okay. But like for one episode... Well, Kellick was in um, it too then. I, they, 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 yeah. made, they all made like little... None of the main yeah. characters, you know what I mean? All, these guys all yeah, made little appearances. You would think just like He Man, G.I. Joe, yeah, My Little think Pony, Hank, that they Bobby. would have created an entire toy line based on the show, but instead they created it based on the game yes. and sort of like their own characters that they had created. Yep. Which I think is actually really Well, cool. when looking back it's really cool, but I but I guarantee if they did a toy line based on the show, I would have been on it as a young kid. Same. Yeah. Um so there was no Fortress of Fangs, I don't believe, in the show. You know, maybe there's something reminiscent. Tiamat was in the show. Yes. In the first episode. You, dude, those guys. Dude, Tiamat. That like the, group of teenagers, yeah. right? Imagine yeah. this. You know, <laughs> playing D&D. &D. Yes. All level one characters get zapped. Yeah. From their world. They're dead instantly. The, the, the first <laughs> thing they meet is Tiamat the dragon. Yeah, like, yes. Legendary, iconic. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No, and then Venger. Yeah. Dude, right, and, it, well, and and you know, Dungeon Master gives them the weapons, and they, they. Uh, well, that's a trope that goes all the way back to like Clash of the Titans. Goes all the way back to Greek mythology when the the heroes are flung into something they don't know what's happening. Uh, some greater force comes and brings them weapons and, and armor to help them out. That's classic, classic Greek and Roman mythology. Right so now. I'm going to talk about the toy right now, and then I'm going to so get cool. into the minutia of putting it together. Mark agrees with you. He never played with Joe's on his playset. It was it was too fantasy. It was too fantasy, and and if you think about GI Joe. Um, of course, there are fantasy elements, but uh, not until later on did they get truly not, fantastical. I mean, not fantasy like in the realm of like Conan, He Man. DC. No, well, so in the first, not to get into GI Joe, <laughs> but um, the first couple miniseries were like you know sci-fi uh, yeah. army. Yeah. But then when the regular TV series came out after the first couple miniseries. They're like fighting in Egyptian temples. Yeah, with, with, I, there's you a know. few. Yeah, like the, the. It got fantastic. There's like a slaver's pit in the one episode. Yeah, uh, um, with Selena, I think is her name. I, I think Storm Shadow gets Excalibur at one point. <laughs> like it, it's cool. They brought a lot of yeah. like you know mythology yes. into it. And then Cobra Law. I mean, yeah, look which at this would have actually been absolutely perfect fun with Cobra Law. I mean, there maybe are stalagmites, bit, stalactites. Yeah, maybe a little bit too uh, cartoony. A little bit. Um, for. For uh, for Cobra Law, but still really cool. So let's let's do this. We're so we're, so we have this one. It's one hundred percent, not one hundred percent. No, not it's 100%. got its stickers though, which is a big it's, deal. It's got its stickers. It's got all of its stalagmites and stalactites. It's got the it's got the um the important stuff. So we just brought this to show. And we're gonna go a, actually. We'll, so we'll kind of piece. go over the toy right now, and then I'm gonna put it together. Which is kind of like a different aspect of the review. It's going to be kind of boring. Like, I'm going to be reading instructions. Okay. I mean, I'm here it for together. it. Are you guys here for it? I'm here for it. D&D wow. <laughs> &D is... Uh, so, I, you can tell there's some stuff behind us. D&D &D is like my main thing that I collect. The, the books, box sets, games, video games, all the uh, first... Oh, d and first edition, second edition, Dungeons and Dragons, um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. That's my shtick. So, again, the toys weren't that big of a thing for me, but as an adult now, being a D&D collector, I do love them. Um, so Mark made a good point. He said this isn't organic enough for Cobra Law. Cobra Law was like, yeah. you know, they used plants and stuff. But what if this was alive? 
Yeah, what if he could talk? What if he was like a what rock if it was like, man? What if it was like Farpoint Station and it was a living thing? See? See? Yeah. It's called imagination. Oh, no. Okay. All right. So the Fortress of Fangs. Epic fail, it says. Great. <laughs> awesome. Um, first thing you're going to see is the ladder coming out of the nose. Yeah. Do we have any of the figures we can play with on this? Uh, I got some of the PVCs. I didn't pull out any of the action figures. Let me grab this thing. Um, the first thing you're going to notice about this are the eyes and the teeth. I mean, the fact that it's a, a face, a serpentine, you know, <laughs> dragon, snake, it's a, snake. It's, it's a snake head. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. reptilian. It is definitely, um... You yeah. have, uh, well, he says it's disembodied, but you have it to imagine have, the rest well, of the, the body. The body could be underground. The shoulders are underground. Yeah. Snakes don't have shoulders, though. Well, the rest of the this snake has shoulders. This snake's not have shoulders. <laughs> so the first thing you notice are the, the giant teeth. Oh, what big teeth you have. And the eye stickers. I've seen put these people put these... We've, we've oh, had some down. of these put the, had these stickers come upside down. It looks yeah. kind of like it too looks happy. Ridiculous. It looks like it's it looks smiling like happy guy. almost. <laughs> yeah, I know. If we edited these, I would edit a picture in of that. But, but these are not edited videos. Are you going to make me do that? I might be able to do that. Um, well, do we have that one somewhere? We start getting into editing. Where is that one? Do we even have uh, that one anymore? sold, I believe. Oh, um, Dang. So there's two levels. <laughs> there's the upper level, and then the lower level where there's treasure and lava. Uh, go to camera two. We've got all kinds of cool stuff going on up here. I really yeah. like it. I've never honestly sat down and looked at this playset, which is shocking. It's a super fun playset. Because um, like I said, again, I'm super into So I'm going to take the ladder off here. The ladder has a little notch where it hooks to the front. Oh, guys. Right. I need the lich. Let's bring the lich So in. if you look, classic kind of... Dungeons and Dragons uh, adventure. There's lava on the ground and little stones where you could walk to get to. There's a treasure in here. I wish I could get the camera too in further, but that's all right. I mean, I can zoom in. It's gonna be a little bit dark. Let me see if I can get in the light. Not really. It's dark back there. Like, it, oh wait, like, is this the one that has the eyes on upside down? Uh, it might be. Huh. Okay. Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So this is the one with the eyes that were I knew we had yeah, had one. It's weird. Um. So there's a treasure chest. Uh, unfortunately, if you take the treasure chest out, the treasure doesn't come with it. It's not all one thing. <laughs> the treasure is like molded underneath, and, it's, and the chest fits around it. Because yeah. it would be a very cool, like, you know, to play with it. You could have your guys carrying the treasure away. But unfortunately, it's not. It's not. It doesn't one come out piece. very easily. No, I'm not going to pop it. I don't want to break it. So I've been warned. I have been warned. Yes. Um, that. This is brittle and breaks easy, so I don't want to mess around. It does slide and, into the nose, yeah, the, right? The, if you want to store this. If you're buying one of these at a yard sale or something, a lot of people don't notice that the ladder, I just put it away, stores that's, inside of his nostrils. That's pretty great. Be careful you don't want to break that thing. Wow, so, that's awesome. A lot of times that ladder is broken or missing. Uh, if you get lucky, it's actually in there. This toy has a lot of gimmicks, a lot of a lot of playable aspects. Yeah, talk to me about the gimmicks. Well, all about the I'll, gimmicks. Let's talk about the mold first. Right? I mean, it's molded amazing. Whoever the, the sculptor was. I love the was, steps. I'm gonna. I'm I love gonna, the steps I too. I want to show off the steps. That's what I was gonna get to. Was the steps. I'm trying to get this guy on the steps. Here. So when you first come in, you're you know you're first having your adventure. You come in, and there's lava. Now, if you if you branch off to your left as you're coming in, there's a set of steps. If you if you don't go through the, uh, the mouth there. The mouth. Now, to get to the treasure, there's actually... Are, are stalagmites the bottoms or the tops? Um, I think, think tights are top. Stalactites come from the top. Yeah. So stalagmites. So the, there's a set of stalagmites here that's like a trap <laughs> door that goes down. Um, this might be on backwards, this one, because it doesn't... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, listen, I bought this the one. The eyes like are upside down. The stalagmites I didn't, are on I backwards. Am not, I am not guilty of this. Is I that believe supposed to fall down? So it's supposed to fall through? down and it's supposed to be a, become a bridge. Instead, it's falling Instead forward. Instead, it's falling backwards into onto the treasure. <laughs> so when we put ours together, we're going to put it together correctly. Uh, whatever doofus kid put this together on Christmas morning, um, I guess he hadn't eaten his Cocoa Pebbles yet. So, oh, God. Are we still on the Cocoa Pebbles? If you don't go to the treasure, you can go up these stairs here. Molded into oh. rock. Very cool. <laughs> Um, messing up all the gimmicks. So once you get, what did you mess with? Oh, the, I hit the, the button and it popped out this little piece. Well, that see, talk about broken. The that that is a. Uh, so on the side here, we're probably breaking things. <laughs> um, there's a button inside the um, cage jail? here. Is that the jail? jail, yeah. But you prison? can take that and put it anywhere. Yeah. Um, 
and it, the button has a little platform it attached it? It, attached to your side, and it launches people oh, off. Oh, of it. it's just like the micro, um, the micro, the micro best thing. But this is this has a broken tab. Often happens, or this is missing completely. That happens a lot as well. So there's a little. I love that. It looks great. <laughs> on top here, are we on camera two or one? We're on camera two. Go to camera one, please. Camera one, camera two. On top of spaghetti. In front of that eye is a little lever, and on the other side of the wall, in where that cage is, there's a button. And if you push a guy on the button, the lever on the other side goes up like a seesaw and and <laughs> turns this into a launch platform where your character will launch off into the abyss uh, or wherever. I didn't the, know it was a button. I the, honestly, like I said, I've wherever I've really, the Balrog lives. I really never looked at a lot of times that that, that um, pad is missing, and there are little rocks here and there that. Uh, you know, are hard to find. There's little rocks. I forget what it is. There's a there's a, a loose rock top that goes in here somewhere, and it's not on this one. Um, and I'm not sure what it's for. The stickers are great. Yeah, the stickers I love are really the images. cool. Uh, the cage Attention. is three pieces. Good luck finding this in a used one. Uh, this is as close as I could get after years of searching for a uh, unbroken one, and it actually has. If you look, some yeah, camera two. It's missing, I think, three or four of them, right? Yeah, it's missing uh, three of the. What are these called? Um, the sharp thing. The sharp <laughs> things where you can get your bits <laughs> smashed when you're climbing. Uh, and then these two sides actually clamp to this, so you can turn it into. A, it, you know, you can make it close. It can be a gate. It so can this be a is jail. broken here, and it has one broken uh, railing down here, which is why this doesn't stay on. But honestly. Relatively, this is in really good shape compared. I mean, a lot of times you buy this and it's just a couple pieces. The one that we're putting together has it. it has a complete. Un Listen, wow. the one we're putting together. Yeah. Has never been put together. Yeah. Yes, the eyes are definitely upside down. Yes, the eyes are upside down. <laughs> and that's <laughs> why. It, that's why he looks a little derp. Yeah. Um. So once your character makes it to the second floor, they have to watch out for the axe. There's an axe that drops here. Oh. I love the gimmicks. The gimmicks are Me great. Me too. This well, is so I love handy. medieval fantasy stuff, and this is right there. Is this like a shoot? It's a that's a Chuck E. Cheese slide. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Because of your character, you you couldn't you know you you had to go up the stairs. You couldn't figure out how to get the the uh, bridge down to go across. So you uh -huh. had to come up here and try and find your way back down. I like the foot pegs. That's thoughtful. Yeah. I, now I was thinking about that earlier. I wonder who the first toy company was to use foot pegs. Hmm. I would love to know that. The cage is adorned with skulls. Yes, there are no skulls on this. There are black skulls that the cage uh, comes adorned with. Thank you, Mark. Do they snap on? Um, the button is disguised as a footstone. Yes. Yep. Yeah, it just it looks like part of the bed. I didn't even know it was a button really when I was playing with it. <laughs> Mark said there's no excuse. He put his together correctly. Listen, there were kids who mm -hmm. just, at Christmas morning, so here's the thing about Christmas morning, and I'm going to talk about this when I, uh, go back to camera one, please. I'm going to go back to, I'm going to talk about this for how it was with me and my G.I. Joes. Early on when I would get my toys, on Christmas morning, say, birthday, whenever I would get a gift, uh, my dad would typically help me put the toys together, right? But then he would leave me to do the stickers. He didn't want to be bothered with the sticker placement and stuff like that. Now... When you're in a rush to play with your toy, listen, it was, it was most of the fun was, um, you know, putting it together and look, stepping back and doing it. But you want to play with your toys, especially on Christmas morning when you have a ton of them. So you're just kind of slapping them stickers on and, you know, this one might be a little I, not centered. I had very few toys that needed stickers applied. I bet Mark really took his time <laughs> stickering his toys as a kid, which kudos to you, um, but I did not. Yeah. So yeah, whatever kid this was, he was like, listen, their eyes... They're going on because I want to play with my toy. He looks kind of he looks happy, like we mentioned. Yep. Kinda, yeah. So once you get to the top of the stairs and avoid that axe coming down, you have to roll. A, it's right here. Uh, what do you have to roll there to avoid the axe? You'd a have D7? to roll a D twenty. There's no such thing as a D seven. Natural twenty. So we avoided we avoided the axe. Just so you know, we avoided it. Not only did we avoid it, but we jumped around it. All right. Well, if you turn and go up the hallway, you're looking up. See that thin hallway dead in the middle? Yeah. How does that thing you're supposed to fit through there? You have to be careful. No, they don't fit. There's no way. There is no way. You have to crawl through it. Oh, it lifts. Um, it. I don't know if it's. I don't know if that's part of the gimmick. I think it's just go, it going together. Either it lifts or 
the PVC guys are a different scale. You can use the, uh, you know, no, the main character PVCs. Oh, the little guys. Yeah. Those so, weren't even available in this country, were they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So you got to come down this hallway. Well, check it out. In this hallway, camera two. We got spikes. Well, that doesn't really bring it in, but there are spikes here. Now that spike wall, go ahead. You got to, it, it's not a great working to make it. Yes. You have to avoid getting crushed by spikes, which is, is a so fun. Tough gimmick to get to work. Yeah, it's not a perfect. This is very trash compactor of the Death Star. With spikes. With spikes, yes. Yep. So once you get through there, you can come out the nose and then down the ladder. Um, there is a switch here that controls the spikes. This switch right there. You push it in, and that makes the spike wall yeah, go through. It's like a yep. lever. Uh, Elkhorn you, can fit in the doorway, Mark if, said. <laughs> if you do, Elkhorn can fit through. Uh, Melf <laughs> might be able to as well. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. So uh, once you get through, uh, if you don't choose to go that way, you can go this way, where there is a slide. And I'll yeah. stick my fingers through. Stick this guy down the slide. I want to see the slide. All right. We're going to use one of the, um, I forget the. Stalwart, knights, stalwart knights. men at arms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Send him through. You're gonna see it from here. There's a, there's a hole here where there's a slide, and boom, <laughs> he comes down next right, to the treasure chest. Right, but right into a, a lava pile. So he's the. Well, he's, he's got to be careful. He's done. There's no way he survived that. If the stalactite that's going the wrong way didn't stab him in the butt, then the, the lava definitely got him. Now the stickers are great on the on the bottom here. The whole great, the whole floor has some All beautiful lava. Um, inside, I wish I could take the. Uh, I wish I could take the. Uh, camera two off and show you. I can zoom in, but I'm not sure about the lighting. The backs. Let's see what happens when I zoom in. Nah, it's going to be really dark in here. Let me see if I can lift it up a little bit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm zooming. This is in. like a dentist. I'm zooming in forever. No. Hold on. Oh yeah, you can kind of see there. Yeah. So that the 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 art on the stickers is fantastic. Uh, you can see there's torches. And, um, you know, it looks like a dungeon. It's not just um, rock and stalagmites and stalactites, but it's actually a built dungeon. And just turn it. It's good. You're doing good. You can see good. Oh, yeah, there you go. And another really cool thing is... If I you, wonder who did the art for the stickers. I don't know. The I'm stalagmites really and the stalactites uh, are, are like another set of teeth, like shark teeth. But look, there's like a room with a window... The skulls and torches are awesome. There's yeah. a skeleton on one side. There's some rats. It's it's very door. very typical Dungeons and Dragons fantasy. Uh, I can't believe, camera one, that I didn't play with this stuff as a kid. Because even though you know uh, GI Joe and I loved all that stuff, um, I love fantasy. I love sword and sandal movies. You know, Conan the Barbarian is my favorite movie of all time. So the fact that I didn't really have any fantasy toys, it's just not the way I played with toys. You know, we, we pretended we had swords. I guess the fantasy stuff for me wasn't until a little bit, I got a little bit older. As a kid kid, it was just guns and I, military. I like He-Man and She-Ra, and that was fantasy-ish. So I was never a He-Man kid. Um, I, well, I think you were probably too old by the time He-Man came out, really. I guess. Maybe. Um, but yeah, I skipped all this D and D. I went straight with me and D and D. I went straight to paper. I went straight to paper and, and books. I uh, I skipped over the toys entirely. I was still playing my with my My Little Ponies, but they were all unicorns and Pegasus. So I still had that fantasy fantasy vibe. Um, so, Mark, oh, Mark is printing a three three D printing a fire beast to guard the treasure. That's awesome. Awesome. I love it. So uh, <laughs> Mark is a great three D printer. So the <laughs> the um, the stuff that this is missing, it's missing a giant. It's missing the. The skulls, obviously, that go on the uh, the they black just, like, fence. Snap on. Yeah, it's like a, uh, I think they go on top, but there's, I think they're on a pole themselves. Okay, We're gonna find sense. out in a minute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's cool? It's not missing any of the stalactites or stalagmites, and a lot of times they are, but it's missing a, a really important piece, which is the uh, the gargoyle throne, which is a purple throne with yeah. wings. Yeah. Now sometimes the throne is there, but the wings are almost always missing, almost always. So without further ado, I'm gonna start pulling some stuff out here. Yeah, Mark this is, is right. The... You wouldn't have been too old for He-Man. He-Man came out in... I didn't say I was too old. I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, what, were you too old? Uh, 
Nah. No, I was I was perfectly the right age. Is this the one we're putting together over here? Yeah, oh, I, nice. I was really the right age, but I but I just didn't like it. I didn't like that the figures didn't have much articulation. Uh, I didn't like that they were so yeah weirdly jacked. You know, not until I grew up and got that jacked did I realize that was <laughs> that was a, a possibility oh, in life. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is I loved Arnold and Conan and all that it's stuff. It's surprising because He Man was literally based on. Plus, the cartoon was just a. A little too Orko. A little too like cheesy with Orko. Good, at the not good like well done, but like good like oh, you like know. Oh, goody goody. Yeah, uh, you know, and, and that was on purpose because they they had to yeah, like they had to instill good uh, values and stuff, yeah. and, and able to have and, and, and in order to have big muscle bound guys doing stuff, they had to have with the violence. Yeah, they had to temper it with really over the top. Friendship is so special, Orko. Friendship is special. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Mark uh, just made a really good point. He wishes that they kept the color scheme of the prototype. I agree. Uh, the purple is too garish. And we, the black um, looks so much cooler. We should have printed the ad out, but on the on the beginning of this episode, we might uh, when you yeah. when you were looking, yeah. there was the ad for this where it says a face only a child could love. Yeah. Well, if you look at this gargoyle in the ad. It was black with red wings or violet know. or something? I think the reason that they changed it was because of the whole satanic panic thing. It looked too much like a demon, and I guess purple is yep. its more of a gargoyle. So this is the gargoyle uh, um, yeah. throne. I like what he's it. got going on there in the... Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that, that's... you got to show everybody that. We're I'm going to. Go to see what that, that, that is. is unfortunate. I don't think I saw that before. That's one of our... Oh, I definitely did. That's anatomically one of our, correct. That's one of our PG-13... Uh, yeah, he's anatomically correct there. <laughs> that is yeah, Mark unfortunate. Yeah, saying the same thing. That so that's a peg nice. hole. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times these wings are missing. People probably find these in toy boxes and have no idea what they are for. Um, these are the wings that clip those back, and all three pegs are present. Now, this is from the set we're putting together. Yeah, should we leave this one here, or should we move it we're off gonna, sides? We're going to move it off to the side. Okay. Or we're just kind of showing. Now, if he would typically go here. Oh, man, I'm going to plug it in. Well, actually, do no, I should read the instructions. Not, yeah, do not. So he should it. go here, typically. And that's how it would look. You know, in a, in a more a more close to complete version is him there, and how cool is that as a kid? You know, it's very reminiscent of uh, the cover of the original Dungeon Master's Guide, I think. Oh, um, really? I mean, yes and no. I wish I had brought it. Now that I think about it, um, just the way that there's a trap door right in front of where he stands. Oh, I didn't talk um, about the trap door. Uh, on the the uh, first edition AD and D D D M G. There's a, an, it's called an Efreet statue, and there's like gems in it, and the, the thieves are prying them out of the eyes. Um, that kind of reminds me of that because it's it, it's not meant to be a creature; it's meant to be a throne statue kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So thank you for reminding me of the trap door. Yeah, yeah. Once you make it past the axe, <laughs> or no, it's right before the axe. I'm sorry, it's right after the stairs and before the axe. <laughs> there's a lever here on the back. Yeah. yeah. And if you pull that lever... I'm afraid to actually put a guy in there. I don't he falls fall down and doesn't go through the trap door. Let's try that again. <laughs> it's a really... Do a smaller guy. Here. It really works well. The, the, here, here. Not, maybe not falling through. Yeah. Okay, we'll use the dwarf of the mountain king. Um, <laughs> the, 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 it resets itself really good. It's a lever here you pull, and the guy just falls backwards. <laughs> it's supposed to fall down like that. Uh, but it resets itself. All you got to do is push it in. And for a 40 year old toy oh god is it really that old 39 Ugh. uh it works really I'm well ancient. i'm yeah, ancient I i'm ancient look at all these little dudes they're all gonna hang out over here so you want to move it was this gray and yellow mark said okay i didn't look at the picture yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna put that off to the side over here. you got it i got it oh yeah i got it it's heavier than you thought it was gonna be huh i don't well the thing that's not attached it was just laying on top i didn't have so that that tumbled And the pegs are still standing. All right. I'm going to grab the instructions. Oh, I'll be the instruction here. Here, hand me the instructions. I'll read them to you. All right. This is going to be Original good. instructions. Show them off. Let's so, the show them off. one of the casualties of the box wasn't the instructions, but the original sticker sheet was a casualty show of the... Show the instructions for a second. Just don't count me too real fast. The box. Wow, look at that. And this is nice and white. 
Crispy. I love the font, Fortress of Fangs. It's that typical like Dracula yep. font. And there are uh, <laughs> actually there's pages. Pages. We got pages. We do have pages. There's four pages there. There are four pages and fifteen steps. Jesus. So toys don't come like this. You don't have to assemble toys. <laughs> this took all Christmas morning to assemble. This okay. is harder to put together than the USS flag. This, you know, this is something that you would the parents would put together the night before Christmas and have it ready for the kids. Oh when yeah. Came down. My parents didn't do that. <laughs> I never got anything cool enough to do that with. So it looks like the uh, the roof is the first thing you put together. It comes in like three big screwdriver sections. Screwdriver required. Did you bring a screwdriver? Mm, you're gonna have to go grab one. There's one on the tool table. Maybe I should have read the instructions before we began. <laughs> we should began. have read the instructions before we started. Alex asked, is it in Swedish? Is this Ikea furniture? No. no. And um, but nowadays... It's funny that you mention that, Alex, because we, we just uh, set up some Ikea shelves um, at the house and put all of my D&D books on them. So it's funny that we're, we're cycling back around. All right, what kind of screwdriver? It doesn't specify. I'm um, sure it's a Phillips. I'm going to go My get lovely a assistant will go get a Phillips Excuse screwdriver. Excuse me, now I'll I'm not here. going. No, now I'm not going because I'm not your assistant. I just want to be clear. My lovely... Uh, other half. I just want to be clear. Better half. I'm not your assistant. Thanks. Um, okay. No, these are not in Swedish. No. All right. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> so, Fortress of Fangs, playset, LJN, screwdriver required. You don't see that often with toys. You don't actually see it often, uh, them saying screwdriver required. Dina says her mom always put everything with the stickers and all before they got up Christmas morning. So that's kind of cool to walk out to. But I really liked opening the boxes. And I feel like if my mom tried to put together my G.I. Joe, she would have just fumbled the ball. And uh, Oh, I can totally imagine. Can you imagine? I can, imagine your, I can definitely imagine your mom putting together. No. She, realized, she, my mother was good at buying the stuff, but I don't think she would I just together. realized I really want a cup of coffee, so I might get up again. Is this? It's a Phillips. Stanley. I, I prefer DeWalt. You name your tools? <laughs> Doesn't every man? <laughs> anyway, my trusty Stanley <laughs> screwdriver. All right, I'm going to hand this off to you. All right. Take a sip of water. Oh, you have water? I don't have water. I might need a drink for this. COVID. I'm going to... It's not water. Water. We're in New Jersey. It's water here. It's water. Are these, are these blood stains on the instructions? Um, I don't know. Some, some that kid, box was bad. Somebody's parent, um, you know. So what's the first piece I need? I'm going to lay right. some pieces out here. Assembly instructions. Screwdriver required. Dude, sealed bag. That's sealed and we're going to put it together? Sealed bag. Well, you should probably go get my trusty DeWalt blade. I'm not getting up again. Do I actually have to get up again? You don't have to. If I get up again, I'm fine getting up again, but I'm making myself a cup of coffee before I come back. Is that all right? Look at that. <laughs> Well, I can't believe we're putting this together. I feel terrible. Why? It's a toy. I know it's a toy, but I feel weird. Like, we should leave it in the bag. No. If it was in a box, I would leave it like that. I'm feeling but weird. But because of the box... I didn't know this was happening. I didn't know there were bags coming out. What did you think it was going to be I in? thought that it was loose or something. I don't know. No, sir. Ma'am. I'm going to start making whining sounds. That's right. This one's been opened. No, it's not. You just untwisted no, it. I untwisted it, but, <laughs> but it seems like the bag itself has been oh, opened. okay, okay. I feel slightly better then. Which which I don't dig. I mean, I haven't actually done, gone through and done a parts list, so I don't want to get to a point here and be like, oh, that's not... Well, you didn't read the instructions to know that a No, I don't do research required. or any of that kind of stuff. We didn't check to see if it's actually complete or not. Um, this is going to be fun. Wow. This one might go on the... So uh... this is still on its trees. Um, trees are the plastic things that are attached, like uh, the, the kibble. Um there's another word for it. Sprues. The sprues. Yes, um, thank you. Flashing the plastic. Yeah, the, this is still on its sprues. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Unbroken. Okay, listen. I'm going to get up and get a whole bunch of more tools, but I'm also going to make myself a cup of coffee. So can you entertain... These are the sides can, still on the sprues? Can you entertain the troops? I can. I'm just going right. to sit here and play with myself. Do you, what? What toys? That's our only fans. <laughs> there's, there's the axe with probably the mechanism that, that goes, you know, on its sprues with the mechanism that makes it go up and down. All right, I'm gonna. Would you like anything while I'm up again? Uh, scissors. I'm gonna get the scissors. I'm gonna get. Where is there a knife? Oh uh, yeah, there's a, my trusty Dewalt blade is on the tool table. Walt and Stanley. Well, who else? Do we Dewalt. Have there? So there's a whole other fence piece that that isn't even with the one we talked about earlier. Um, I don't even know how this. This might be the gate. Oh, this is probably the gate. Wow. 
This is going to be fun to assemble. I don't know what we're in for here. Off the cuff with Farpoint. Yes, Tara. <laughs> uh, we do not. These. Listen, if you are looking for a polished review, there are guys out there. Yeah. Yes, or if you're looking you know, for an NPR shout out to ASMR train rack, you've Shardimus come to the right Prime place. Shardimus Prime, and, and there's just everybody so reviews people. everything. Yeah. We're just yeah. hanging out. If you were sitting here with us right now, this is exactly how it would be. Um, trusty DeWalt. So, let's, let's play dentist and remove some teeth. You guys ready? I wonder what this is worth on eBay. <laughs> All right. I didn't know I was going to need tools. Oftentimes today, with modern toys, these come molded together. They are not separate. There's the upper and the lower tooth. Uh, often today with modern toys, you don't really need a screwdriver to assemble things. Um, either they come together in a box, and you can already see it in the box because of the display window. Uh, here are the skulls that Mark was talking about. I will keep this bag because it is the original uh, Dungeons & Dragons baggie. But, okay, so... Th these are the skulls that go on top of the um, fences. And one has come off the sprue already, off the tree. Uh, originally, it would probably have come like this. So these are the trees are just little plastic molded pieces. When this is poured, when the plastic is poured into mold, these are actually part of the mold, but they're, you know, they're meant to just hold the pieces together. Until you uh, until you take them off, and, and typically the trees or the sprues just get thrown away, and they're always the same color as the plastic because they're molded out of the same plastic. If you want a polished review, go find one, as we say here at Farpoint Toys. If you want a mint, never touched, uh, assembled Fortress of Fangs, go find one. That's what we say. Um, this whole box is just. I'm going to take all the pieces out so you can see what's going on here. The gate goes right before the trap door. Okay, that makes sense. So the gate is a... Uh... Okay, that makes sense. Thank you, Mark. We'll be playing with this in a minute. Uh, absolutely, Tyra. When Penelope gets back, she will put camera two together. And uh, I will show you... Uh, actually, all the parts. I'll go over them a little better. Um, here is the little doorway we were talking about that no one really fits through except for the dwarf. Um, this is the part that the uh, stalagmites go on that come down and form the bridge that is going down, I believe, the wrong way. And if you see, one side's longer than the other, which is which tells it which way to go down. Now these are the little stone pieces I was talking about, and I'll show them on camera too. They're just little stone walkway pieces and I think you just put them in the lava so your character has somewhere to walk in the lava well this one doesn't have them these are 40 years old can you imagine how easily lost they are as a matter of fact I remember researching this and seeing that it needed stones but really not finding exactly what the three stones look like and they are three unique looking stones which is a pain in the ass because if you're trying to complete this thing on eBay and find parts you're like, all right, I need three stones. Which stone is this one? Is that the the larger one with one crack? The smaller one with two cracks? So this will give you a great idea if you're trying to complete one of these. And we'll go to camera two as well and tighten them up. Um, this will give you a great idea if you're trying to complete one and find what the parts look like, what those parts actually look like. I'm back. Hi. I'm so glad I wasn't here when you cut these bags open. That's really why I left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what am I putting on camera too? Uh, if we can get here? on the stuff that's right here, I don't know if it'll... Eh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you can't see that at all. We can hold it up, like, one bit yeah, at a time. So... Oh, my gosh. Look at these skulls. Yeah, so originally the skulls... These are so cute. Here you yeah. hold one. I'm going to zoom in. We need a camera three that's, like, we extreme We do. I think we need another up. camera now. This is what the skulls look like. They're off center. Yeah, go way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might get a little uh, grainy. Don't go too. That's, that's, that should be good. Sorry about my fingers. I'm doing a lot of labor and work here. 
Oh, no one cares about your fingers. <laughs> um, so the skulls are white plastic, and then this is them. There are two of the same that go on top, and then there's one that's like a has a peg on the back. You're uh, offside that a little goes bit. You want to move a little bit more to the forward. Middle. There you go. Very white out, white and washed out, but that's. I can see it's good. That one goes like flat, face first, I believe. And then there's like two that go on top, and then this is the teeth, the bottom teethuses for this thing, and then this is them on their sprue, <laughs> and then the, this is important. If you're looking to complete your fortress of fags, if you found one of the yard sale and you're trying to find the pieces, this is what the three rock pieces look like. You have a smallish one that has two distinct cracks you see that you have two large ones uh one has a crack going down the center it looks kind of like a turtle and then this one has a large crack and a small crack so these are the three <laughs> distinct rock pieces pads you want to call them and and uh when i was trying to complete this fortress of fangs i couldn't figure out what i needed so and i couldn't find a review like this that actually told you so hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, this is the button for the, um, this comes up through the floor and this is the button and lever that, the, that uh, opens this spring. for the, for the pad that launches you off. And this is unbroken, obviously has both pegs. It's awesome. This is great. I still feel weird. We opened the bags. Uh, like I said, this is the, uh, the part for the, oh, is it that's for the, the stalagmites stalag that come up from the floor. Yep, and it has a longer side on one side, and it has it had before I broke it two pegs, <laughs> um, and that, I'm sure that's how it pegs in. This is the trap door. Obviously, it has two tabs on the other side. These instructions are very detailed. This is the. Um, this is the slide that makes that trap door go up and down. This is the little door I was talking about that only a dwarf could fit through. Uh, I'm gonna keep going here. I'm gonna get the camera back to camera one. I'm going back to camera one. Let me zoom camera two out a little bit just so it's not like in on the microphone. Those no stones are set in the room with the button, which launches the figure in order to cover up. Oh, Mark, thank you. So these three stones go in the same room with, with this button. I'm not leaving here without the And stones. I think it's supposed to uh, maybe they go around this stone. Probably, okay, so they probably go around that so so it's, you can't really tell which one the button is. Oh, I should have brought the other lazy sense. Susan out <laughs> for this guy. That's right. It's actually a good idea. Huh, no, it doesn't go around the button. It's supposed to just lay there and just like sit. They're probably just around. supposed to go, just, you know, just. Oh yeah. Sit around it, so just you're like. Sit around it, so, so it like when like you know, like part... when Indiana Jones yep. is is uh, you know, That's in the exactly. temple, and he's not sure which uh, rocks are the soft ones. Yep. It's supposed to hide, camouflage yep. that rock. Thank you, Mark. Okay. See, that's why we love having a live audience with this. Oh, Alex has to go. He's gonna go teach. Bye, Alex. Thanks for joining us today. This is the treasure. Oh. So this is a it's oh, a that's molded actually a piece. clever a really clever design because it's one solid piece and then yep. the actual chest snaps over it. Yep. So this so it's like pouring inside, out inside. Yes. And then it's also all around the so outside. So there's actually a treasure all around the I outside, but this like is that. the this is what the treasure looks like. That's cool. I like that. Wow. The original screws sealed in a baggie. I feel really weird about opening this. Like comes with one, two, three, I'm not four. Oh, look. I feel like and we're at Ikea. And they're flatheads, not Phillips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks like 11? If I have to get up again, I'm going to bring a snack back this time. <laughs> oh, my God. They're flathead. Yeah, they're flathead. Oh, who uses flathead? I guess in 1983. In 1983, LJN, apparently, Four, flathead. Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. It looks like 11 screws. Boy, a flathead. You're going to see me struggling. All right. There is the um, the fake wall. I mean, not fake wall. The crushing wall. The, uh, the spike wall. Spike wall. This would get a better shot of it too since we couldn't get a shot. I'm going to get up and come back with screw, another screwdriver and bagel bites. You might as well bring a hammer, some duct tape. It doesn't say that. Uh, it should say flathead screwdriver on here. That That is... Maybe Phillips didn't exist back then. That's just kidding. Yeah, Phillips was born in 1987. Mark said what about something. I'm not sure what. <laughs> There's so many shocking things I just happening. keep reaching into this and pulling more stuff out. 
feeling I'm feeling like weird and good about this. Like this is going to be a mint. I don't. So I'm very mint. I feel like I'm more of a preservationalist than I am like a toy person. All right, there's the. Does that make sense? This is going like, to be the front of the throne. I feel like this stuff's in bags, and like part of me is like, leave it in the bag. How do you display it in a bag? This you is part of a collection. No, that's the thing. Um, Mark can't believe it. It's a flathead. Phillips is the '80s universal screwhead. It really um, is. All of our every GI Joe we had is. Hey, it Phillips just head. occurred to me that Phillips is a brand of tools. Did they invent the Phillips screw? Probably. So there is the wow. lid and the uh, base chest of the base of chest. the chest. This is the slide. It looks like an athletic supporter. Okay. This is a brown piece. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out what that goes to. In these, I, I said it was four pages. But this it's really is something I've like... never seen in person. It's the weapon rack. It's the weapon rack. Wow. I've never seen this the weapon rack in person. I don't think it actually attaches anywhere. Does it come with any weapons? We'll find out. Uh, no. Uh, the picture with the weapon rack has like um, War Duke's shield on it. I think. Oh uh, yeah, it's. Um, oh no, it's uh, Strongheart shield. It's Strongheart shield. Is uh, that a young male Titan's shield? Might be young male. Yeah, that's it might be. Wow. There's no colors. Use the so weapon anyway. rack to hold swords, shields, knives, etc. Weapons may be purchased separately. Never saw a weapon rack before. Did they sell just weapons packs for D&D? Not that I know of. Maybe they had plans to? Weapons may be purchased separately when you buy our toys. Yeah. All right. Here is all the small teeth. Now, if you look inside that, they, they are on the top. These are the stalactites. Right. I'm going to go get up for the third time. Uh, a lot of them came off of their um, sprue, off of their tree. No. So, so all but two have already popped off of their... Which happens, you know, in storage and they get knocked around. They're meant to come off these rather easy. You're not supposed to really have to cut them off. Um, although if you don't want a little bit... Uh, you know, some people are very um, clean. And if you don't want a tiny bit of plastic left over, you use an X-Acto blade to slice them off. But they're kind of meant to come off of these things. You just kind of flex it back and forth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are, should be nine stalactites... Two are still attached to their tree. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All stalactites are present. Nine. Nine stalactites. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, this is some bubble wrap. This is, this is the part where we. This is the part where we pop bubble wrap. What are you doing? <laughs> I leave for two minutes and you're coming back and popping bubble wrap. I don't even know what's happening. I brought um, this other lazy season. You have lazy seasons lying around. Can I pick this up by the roof? Yeah, it's screwed together with with flathead screws. Oh. Are you strong enough? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, that is perfect. Thank you. Now we can like roll it around and it looks good. Now these are going to be the stalagmites that go all the way around. This is this is tough because I don't know. We'll have to look at the pictures if there is a specific order order of them. I let's look at the heights. Order of battle. You know what? I'll do it on here. I brought the flathead. The Stanley flathead. Not Dewalt. <laughs> Veronica, the lazy Susan's being lazy. We have literally, I think we own four Lazy Susans at this point. <laughs> oh, they look nice standing up like that. Oh, they're all different heights? Mm, yeah. Some of them are rounded, some of them are pointy. This is this toy is outrageous. The fact that they did so many different molds of the uh, stalactites is a real pain in the butt, to be honest. We are going to be here until 9 o'clock tonight with this. This is fascinating. Hatchet blade. Hatching Wall of on. spikes, bar on ladder, ladder, front, catapult, catapult lever, back of trap door, trap door lever, rear of trap door, wall of spikes, beam. Oh, that's a beam. Yeah, it's a beam. It's a beam. You know what its name is? Jim. 
You've heard of Jim Beam, right? I've heard of Jim for? Beam. I don't know what that means. Jim Varney. All right. So, okay. This is, this is insane. Um, actually, all the long ones are <laughs> relatively the same, except for there's like one stunted one. It's really cool that they is did this. But none of them are perfectly. No, I think they just had different molds. Um, you know, there are some identical, but there's enough difference where it looks natural. I can't uh, believe can we're going to camera this bag. two. No, I'm I'm feeling weird about the bags. <laughs> it's cool that there's enough difference in those where they they kind of have a natural vibe. Um. You know, they're, they're naturally occurring. They're, Mark says he always very, plays the tall ones in the back and the short ones towards the bridge. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I would do, too. Maybe not. It might tell us how yeah, to do it. Yeah, it's going to tell us how to do it. So yeah, I'm going to do it as, as, per, these as per instructions. To the letter. Um, Veronica's laughing at something I said. I don't know what it was. I said we have, like, four Lazy Susans. That may have been it. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I don't know. Surprise! Oh. There are four stepping stones. <laughs> Let's see if this matches any of them. Not, not just stepping stone. stone. We're gonna get copyright infringed. We don't sound like the monkeys. So there's not. This is weird. And and forgive me. Aren't there normally um like a list a, a, a an item list? Isn't there normally an so item here's list? something cool. Um, oh, she was laughing at your Jim your Jim Beam joke. Oh, I'm glad someone did. Thank you, Veronica. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a double. So oh. if it came with four stepping stones, which we'll see in the instructions, uh, maybe not. Uh, it, the two, the large, the large one with the large crack and small crack. There are two of them. Now I might have come across one and just threw it in the box at the, some point. I've, I've been sitting on this thing for about two years. The now. instructions do not seem to specifically mention them. Um, but we finally have a place to display our D and D collection, so um, uh, we we pulled it out. So. The instructions don't even list them? Well, first of all, there's no item list on the instructions. Yeah. At no point does it say, you should have seven stones, five voltages, like none of that stuff. Do, do, okay. All right. <laughs> so this is all the parts. All right. This other than fun. the large playset pieces. Yes, I was going to say, we need like the actual playset pits. It wants you to start with the roof. <sighs> <laughs> let's see what we got here that is the roof that bubble wrap is going to come in very handy you can lay it in front of you and oh I could do this what does it sound like guys does it sound like... <laughs> <laughs> not all toys Coleco and Migo yeah. never had an item list that's great so you gotta be you have to either I would lay the bubble wrap that's, down. That's why these reviews are important on YouTube, and I and I use them as tools sometimes because yeah. I like to see what comes in. Sometimes people open a box. Oh man, can you imagine if someone Google's this and finds this and has to watch six hours of us putting this together to figure out what that's it? That's why comes I with? warned them in the beginning. <laughs> Fast forward, guys. That's why I warned them. Yeah, like, we're doing this for ourselves, we're not doing this for anybody. This is a toy <laughs> hangout. And our VIPs. Um, we are all in the group. If you want to see more us. of us, you can go to uh, Amazon Prime and watch a toy store near you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We are Farpoint Toys. Yeah. We also do a live claim sale. Oh, we do. Every Sunday every at 5 p.m. Every Sunday at 5 p.m. Where we sell toys like this. Eastern Standard. We don't sell toys this close. No, I'm kidding. Yes, we do. <laughs> we sell all kinds of stuff. All right, is this the top? That is the roof. Um, all right, are you ready? All right, the roof. Yep. Number one roof. The top level is made of two halves, the roof and the ceiling. Insert the beam through the hole in the wall as shown. All right, so beam yeah. is going to be that brown thing, right? Uh-huh. Beam. Beam. You got a beam, and you need the wall of spikes as well. All right. Wall of spikes. Okay, I lied about it being upside down. That's the next step. You have to put it right side up. First. Beam and wall of spikes. <laughs> you got a brown beam and a wall of spikes. Okay. Look at the... Look at the um, yeah. The wood grain. Like, they did a really good they job. They did an amazing job. <laughs> wow. So this is meant to look like Dina planks said, of wood. Dina said, please tell us more about your claim sale. It's meant to look like planks of wood. and uh, But they then but they then used red plastic 
which kind of... Well, it's as close to mahogany as they could get. Oh, is that it? Is that why we're doing everything mahogany in our new place? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Uh, what's the next move here? Um, insert the beam through the hole in the wall as shown. You're, you need to put it not upside down. That. All right, I'm doing This is it. the wrong piece. Hold on. Penelope, you told me I have the wrong piece. <laughs> She has me assembling it's the wrong piece. One. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm conf this is confusing. I sh you should have read this in advance. Are there two pieces that look almost exactly the same? There are three pieces that look almost exactly the same. <laughs> it's not going to be that. The top level is made of two halves, the roof and the ceiling. So I think they want us to have the roof, not the ceiling. Fair I actually enough. understand that. Okay. Well, when I picked it up and you were like, well, that's it. Well, I thought of, look, look at that picture and tell me it doesn't look exactly like the thing. Because it has a hole. Yes, exactly. I didn't realize there were going to be seven it pages. It doesn't look exactly like the thing. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> can we get over how wrong I am and just go on? All right. <laughs> that's this. Yes, all right. That's definitely. That looks more like it, right? No. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> no. <laughs> one more turn. Turn it one more time. No, nope, other way. <laughs> one more. Yes. Boom. That's it. All right, show the picture on camera two. You can't see it. There you go. And that's that what is, we're doing right here. And that's this. this is. <laughs> so we're taking this. I'm so confused. A little bit lower, a little bit more to the middle. Wait a second. Is the back of that brown? No, it's green like this. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, this they molded most of this so, out of the green plastic. So they, they just used, painted this. They used green plastic and then painted the wooden beams red. Yeah, well, red is it's kind of a red wood. You know, I don't know. No. All right. That's wood. Can you just chill? You have no chill. <laughs> I have no chill. I needed a cup of coffee for sure. Um, oh, Alicia made it. Hi, Alicia. It's nice to see you. Um, attach the wall of spikes to the beam. All right. First, okay. Insert the beam through the hole in the wall. Well, there's, as a, shown. there's a right way to do this and a wrong way to do this. If you look, there's a a mount on the back, yes. U-shaped mount, and they're showing us a picture of the U-shaped. So mount. the U-shaped mount has to go. Should I just go to camera two and keep it on camera? An two? upside down U, like a lowercase n, it has to go like that. Yes, that's exactly. Yeah, it. put it on camera two. Okay, we're just gonna go straight to camera two now. So that goes inside the inside the hallway here, and there is a hole. In this wall, right there. Yes. And we're going to be putting the. Let me see the. Uh, all right, in a picture now they're showing. It's actually showing an inset, so you can see it. Yes. So there, if you look, there's a notch. Yep. On the end of the beam. That goes into the. End yes. here, just yes. like this. Just like the picture is showing. So us. this is right. This is the way it'll be going down into the wall. And this is the way the beam will be, with the notch on the top, and it'll be going in like this, in this wall here. We're doing a little bit of NPR. I guess. So, so then. through like this, right? Yes. Through the hole. <laughs> you have your little handle facing downward, right? Yep, you're, you're good. It goes right through there, and then notches through. Attach the wall force it. spikes to the beam by lining up the slot in the, the end hole of the beam. And in the inside of the wall here. <laughs> Dude, I gotta tell you, I don't think the hole inside the wall here that where it comes out. So the wall is 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 hollow inside. So there's two holes. There's a hole where it goes through, and a hole where it comes out. And a hole where it comes They're out. Not They're not the up? same hole. Oh. They're oh. not. So the hole where it goes yeah. through is right yeah. here. Right, it goes through like this, and then it comes out. Yes. The hole on the inside here, uh -huh. which is on a separate wall because it's hollow inside. Yeah. If you look, look how small the hole in the wall is. It's insane. It's literally the exact same size. It's the same size. How are you even going to get that in I think it's a there? little smaller. It's, I, 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 the last thing I'm going to do is force old plastic. <laughs> how are you supposed to put it together if it doesn't fit? I'm going to use a blade no, and open it up a little more. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to. <laughs> I have to because if I force it through, I might, I might break the... Uh, I might break the notch on this. That's the last thing I want to do. I mean, do you want me to see if I can squeeze it in there just a little? It's The shape is not right. Oh, yeah. You can see that the flashing hasn't been all the, the way cut off. Yes. Um, it's it's more of a, 
uh, what's the word for a trapezoid, yeah. than it is a square for the end of this. Well, let me see that. Is that actually a square? It's a square. That's a uh, square. No, or... it's, it's, it's slightly tra trapezoidal, but not as much as the hole. Right. So trust me. <laughs> no, stop. Oh, God. The wall. No. This is, I'm freaking out. I have to look away. <laughs> this is insane. Already. 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 Already if I'm I, having to do this. Now I understand why I never owned this toy as a kid. Because this is... I wonder if this is a known issue. This is scary. I don't... So I'm just lightly oh. cutting off a little bit of the flashing. It's like watching one of those surgery shows on television. Cleanly and and not pushing too He's hard. He's actually doing a really good job. I'm just like, I can't, we're opening bags, we're cutting things. This is insane. You just want to do it cleanly. You don't want to overdo it or do too much or, or cut <laughs> too much into the wall because it'll weaken the wall and make Alicia's stress. Alicia's like, this seems dangerous. It does, Alicia. I'm, if you're just tuning in, we are um, doing surgery on a vintage toy that's never been I would assembled. love to know if anybody in the comments ever had to do this before. To their fortress of fangs. Let me it see It definitely that. didn't fit, right? Definitely You're not didn't putting fit. it in upside down or anything? Nope. It's definitely not fitting. Wow. Right out, Super right, close right now. Right out of the box, guys. Right out of the box. Well, I guarantee if they come out of the box like this, that dads were doing this and, and breaking the pieces. Like, it's supposed to fit, damn it! This is supposed to fit! I like your disgruntled dad voice. It's different than your normal disgruntled dad voice. Oh, that sound! Yeah, well, that's me pushing oh. on 40-year-old plastic. Oh. <laughs> it's like nails on a chalkboard. Uh, can you imagine I break yes. the first the first thing we're trying to do on it? I can and I break absolutely it. imagine that you could break you will break it. I have to trim a little more. So the plastic um, cuts very yeah. easily. Yeah, well that's good. <laughs> Is it like butter? Mm, kinda. So um, yeah, it's it's obvious. I can see there that when it was molded, a little bit of plastic kind of seeped in. It was not cut very well. It was not stamped out um, or or molded very well. Yeah. It is. Yeah, he's not kidding. It's way too small. I know it's hard to see on the camera, but it's very. Mark, can I see the cut in the inner wall? <laughs> he wants to see your clean cuts. <laughs> Well, before I did it, it was a trapezoid. I swear to you it was. Now I'm just shaving tiny slivers. The, the hole was incredibly shaped. This it would have was, never gone through. It was not fitting. Boom. Now it fits perfect. And now you're good. Okay. Woo! Uh, so, if you can go to camera two... I can. I live to I'll go try to and camera. show the hole again. Under my finger. Under my finger right there, <laughs> can see, see that. that hole? That was supposed to fit the end of this. There, center it a little bit. There you go. The end of that was supposed to fit into it. Now that is very close to being a rectangle. This, <laughs> this right here was a trapezoid. It was very trapezoid. I had to like cut it <laughs> a little bit on the side, a little bit on the top to be able to fit it through. But now... You're all good. I didn't know I was going to be going through it. Now it fits All right. snugly and perfectly. Yes. Alicia said a hot knife might be might be safer. That that might have that might have also worked. But guess what? I'm not getting up to go heat up a knife. I didn't know I was going to do any of that. Jeez. That, this is yeah. This. All right. So you didn't then. Even know that you needed a screwdriver, let alone that it needed to be a flathead. So then the notch on the end of the the the, the board goes into the uh, slide yeah. part here. Hopefully, no cutting there. Nope, that fits on very well. All right. Woo! So our first moving part has now been moved. Yeah. All right, what's, what's step two? Uh, um, Blowtorch? Attach, attach the wall of spikes to the beam by lining up the slot in the end of the beam with the Done. hole in the wall of spikes. Done. Slide the wall down until it snaps into place. It did not snap. Don't make it... Ugh. It snapped. Snapping. It snapped, but not in a bad way. Okay. All right. One. Number one roof done. Whew. Only 14 more steps to go. This is like... Uh... All right. You ready? What time is it? This is like All watching right. Uncut Gems. It, it's 20 minutes after six. Very stressful. Instruction two. Roof upside down. Is that the next part? Turn the roof yes. upside down. Is this the roof? I think that's the roof, and the other part is the ceiling. What did they call this in number one? They said that the top level is made of two halves, the roof and the ceiling. 
Insert the beam through the hole in the wall as shown. It doesn't. It doesn't tell you what you're. All right, let me look with. at the picture then. That. Turn that around. Mm, no, I don't think so. Nope, I'm not. Well. Well, let's see what the other one looks. I don't know because the ladder is here. We're gonna match this up as best we can here. That looks like here. Nope. It's got. I don't see any of those holes. Yeah, this is it. Maybe not. I don't see any of those holes or the peg. No, I'm not feeling it. Nope. So which side has the little ribby bits? It's that, upside down. Okay. I think. This is fun. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yes, it's definitely this. All right. All right, we're upside down here. So that is, okay. Jesus, this Hold is on. like uh... I get this. I get it. That is the roof because it faces the upside right, of the And the other the one's sky. the ceiling because it faces down. And the other one down. is the ceiling because it faces the inside. We're figuring it out, folks. This is literally ridiculous. Okay. All right. Step this two. is this 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 is like putting together a model. It's showing the roof upside down, which is that. Yep. And it's labeling A, B, C, D, and E. We have the trap door as A, the catapult as B, um, C well, is the ladder, let's D is the wall of spikes, A first, and E is the hatchet. So, so A so, first. Turn the roof upside down. Done. 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 We're on it. Done. Roof upside down. So <laughs> so so the roof is the part. That is the roof. That, <laughs> is, that faces up. <laughs> the right? roof is the part that's the roof. You heard it here, folks. The roof is the roof. Um, in all seriousness, the roof is the part that faces out and up. Yep. The ceiling would be the inside part. I got it. All right, so okay. trap door. A. Place trap door and trap door release lever as shown. As shown. As so this is just artistic renderings. Shown. Um, I believe shown. Jeff easily drew these. <laughs> Alicia said, glad I didn't miss much. <laughs> All right. So it's shown. I want to go to character and show them how it's shown. Yep. There are, show, the, show the picture and then I we'll show I wish I had things. it like brought up. Like I really didn't. So this is what we're working it's a with. Diag there. This is a diagram of uh, many. Le set, num num level, uh, <laughs> number two is like seven things. Yeah. 2A, two 2B. Two so they want us to take the trap door, yes. which is this. Back of trap door. Right. There's the back of the trap door. Yes. And it has two pins on either side. Yes. And then this is the lever. Yes. You got this. So. You need to place them as shown. So if There you are two this, notches. Yes. <laughs> where the pegs lie. And make sure you put it in an upside down. So you just showed the notches, but you were off camera when you showed them. If you look at yourself there, you can see where you are. Right here, there are, there's a notch and a notch for the pegs, right? And you lay the pegs in there, and you make sure you're putting it in with the top facing down, because that's going to be the floor of the roof, right? And then... And the lever. Then the lever, you have the... Um, it looks like in the picture, it, it has a little bend to it, an angle, and, and that's bend. facing up in yes. the real world. Yep, in the real world. Which will be facing down when we get to the... How does that lay in there? It's not showing it laid down yet. So it's just kind of sitting there. So it just kind of sits there for now. Uh, okay. It's actually showing... It's not showing the trap door in. It's just showing it hovering in midair like this. <sighs> hmm. No, Mark. Uh, Mark okay. said, wait, the instructions didn't have installing the black lever for the spike wall in first. No, Mark, we are following these instructions to the letter. We and are. it has not said anything about wait. a lever yet. <laughs> we, are, we are following these instructions. I don't care if they're wrong. We're following them and seeing what happens. Let me see that again. What's funny is if you look at the instructions, yeah. it's drawn wrong. The peg holes, is that the peg hole for that? Yes. Are on the wrong side than they actually are. It's not us that's doing it wrong? Are you sure? Po ha the, I'm positive. The hole yep. is here for the slide. Yep. That is... The, the cutout is it, here. It looks like he's right. Dina's bailing. You kids have fun. See you Sunday. Sorry. Bye, Dina. <laughs> We've only uh, been on for an hour and a half. It's so... Old. It does look like the instructions are wrong. If I lay this the way the instructions are, hold the instructions there. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> this is fun. Hold the instructions there. I am holding them here. So if you look at the toy and at the instructions. You should put it a little bit more so it's actually on camera. There you go. The instructions show, you have to look at the picture closer, but the instructions show 
that the peg holes for <laughs> this, it shows them on the wrong side. The peg yeah, holes are because, right here. Yeah. The instructions show that the peg holes are here, and yeah. that is not the way the trap door sits nope, in there. Not even close. Which is hilarious. We don't have it upside down, right? Nope. Or no, we do have it upside down. It's meant to be upside down. Yep. Um, oh, and Alicia is actually correcting Dia. Uh, it'll be Saturday that we see each other again, our VIPs, because Saturday is our Thunderdome free claim sale event that only yep. our VIPs are privy to. All right, what's the next step here? The next step is B. B. You ready for B? Yep. B is the catapult. Place catapult stone into opening and locate catapult lever so that pins on the lever line up with indents on roof. All right, here's the catapult stone, right? No, Looks that's like a... the catapult lever. Sorry. Oh, that's catapult lever. <laughs> catapult stone would be this. Yes, that is the catapult. With it, the it actually, pins on either side. What's funny is that the instructions just call it the catapult. They don't call it a catapult stone, but then they refer to it now as the, a catapult Now, that is drawn correctly. Is it? Yeah, the pins go on either side of this. It lays in there, and make sure you're putting it with the top facing down. Yes, because we're doing it backwards. Yep. Catapult lever. It's showing it in place there, but then also showing it up here. So there are two <laughs> uh, pegs on either side of the catapult lever, and it goes into two little peg holes. Two little peg holes, and I don't want to force it. Well, I mean, old just plastic, get your knife out baby. Again. You know what? A little bit of. I'm gonna show you. Little... Did you just spit on that? Well, you know, a little lubricant goes a oh, long way. Oh God, we are just going off the rails. These instructions are insane. I wish I had known we were gonna be doing this before, like an hour ago. I would have. <laughs> gotten an image and like just had it like ready so we could do this step by step that would have been cool are you gonna push that in there or are you just gonna like hope you don't break it oh god if you break it live on camera at least you'll get a good sound of it with the microphone so you got to make sure one thing you got to make sure of is there's a tab for the catapult stone you don't want to be on the inside of the tab because it'll never push up you have to be you have to put you the to catapult stone. Yeah. You have to be on top of that. They don't tab. say that anywhere. No, nope, but I just realized how yeah. it works. You have to, or the catapult will never work. It'll get stuck on that little piece. Yeah, so you got to put it on. You got to put it through the hole <laughs> with the pins through in, and then the tab underneath of it, which Alicia, is on top here. Alicia said that she is scared. I am also scared. I am totally scared. I should be using some soap here or something. If you break this live on camera, like, well, is that. Do you want me to use my tiny little fingers? Oh, it doesn't really snap. It just sits. So I think, just like this sits, it doesn't snap into those peg holes. Oh, I it see what we're doing. It just sits through it. I think but what we're doing. The, 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 we're going to rest the ceiling underneath. The ceiling is going to seal it, it all in. up. I got this. I all got right. this. All right. Um, Mark said that we needed a tool bag and silicone oil before doing this. He's right about the silicone oil. Um, and the tool bag. Tool bag check. <laughs> all right. All right. See, we're dealing with the ladder now. You ready? All right. Lay ladder in place with raised bar facing up. Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous. Because you can just put the ladder in after the fact. Leave part of ladder hanging off roof as shown. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they have the ladder in backwards as well. Oh, no, maybe. Wow. It may be Is that it, the ladder is oh, supposed to stay attached. It pulls out and falls down. Yes. Oh. That makes way more sense. So let me see. Raised bar. Is that the raised bar? Yes. Facing up. Lay ladder in place with raised bar facing up. Leave part of ladder hanging off as shown. All right. Okay. Um, done. So it's showing way more of it hanging off. Okay. So it's hanging off like that. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, D. Insert the wall of spikes lever through the roof and down through the slot in the beam, guiding the small pins into the grooves. Wall of spikes lever. What does that look like? It looks like a black thing. You can't tell in the picture. It looks kind of like a, I don't know, a letter T. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's this round thing? No, definitely not. Well, hold on. It's this. Luckily, we have this other one oh, okay. to show us. So I think it's going to be... It looks kind of like a... Uh, a gear shift for a car. It's or a billy club. It's, it's this that. right here. Yep. It's so that. it's on the, the the wall of spikes lever is on the same sprue or tree with one of the fence pieces. And you're gonna cut it apart on live camera. I'm gonna start twisting here. And mm -hmm. this is how you get these off of sprues. 
Right? I, once again, kinda... I, I feel like nauseous. Uh, once again, I consider myself a little more of a of a preservationist. Like camera two, if you don't mind. And less of a toy person sometimes. And right now is one of those times. Um, this it comes. It's attached to the fence here. It's hard to see because your shirt is black. Let me it put it is. in front of mine. Can you guys see that? Lay it down in front of me a little bit. And uh, I'm going to take it off there. Yeah. You oh, now you that. want to do it. No, I just want to show them at home what it, what's All going right, on. So I'm going to take it off of these screws. Oh. Yeah, you grab your scissors. Um, I don't, you know, I feel like there's got to be somebody out there in the world who wants, uh, uh, who wants accessories still on the trees for their thing they want to put in a box or something. And I'm I sure. feel... We, could, we actually could have found a empty mint box for this. I know. It had an unused... Why? Even Alicia's feeling funny about this. I don't... Listen, I'm a toy person. I'm also So a I'm going to use the razor blade and cut the... Um... I consider myself a par partially a historian. <laughs> actually, I wonder if they're supposed to be part... I think they're just parts of the spurs. So they exist on this one. I'll leave it there. Oh, you know what? It, leave it there because yep. when you move it forward, it prevents it from. I'm not going to cut anything off that I don't anything. think. All right, so let me see what that goes through. What number is this? This is D. Yep. Insert the wall of spikes lever through the roof and down through the slot in the beam, guiding the small pins into the groove. So those small pins need to stay there. Wow, I'm glad I didn't cut them off. Look at me trying to be all smart. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. Yeah, Mark, I agree. It's it's too late, but I... I what did he say? He said, I'm assuming he means it's too late for this to go to somebody who would put it in a box and, and not ever assemble it. Um, I, All right, that's through. There's two parts of me. I feel differently. Um, part of me wants to preserve things and leave them alone and keep them nice and preserved. The other part of me knows that toys were meant to be played with. So it, there's a weird balance, and I, I try to balance that, and sometimes it feels One like of my hard. favorite things is finding <laughs> old toys in really beat-up boxes. Uh, my Defiant was that. Yeah, from your personal My collection. flag was that. Um, you know, uh, it, it's a great excuse to build a vintage toy from scratch and have a brand new vintage toy. What's the next? What's the next? Uh, e. Mm. From below. From below. Insert the hatchet through the slot in the roof. The hatchet is right here on another sprue, mm. our tree. Mm. Uh, it's here with um, some sort of like black, looks like a pipe It's a handle fitting. or something. A so pipe fitting. I'm going to take this hatchet off. From this below. brand new, glossy, black, brand new, Are you taunting old. me? Are you taunting me? Are you threatening me? Are right. <laughs> you threatening me? Oh, I probably could have, have sold all these parts. You could have sold all of these parts and bought made a mint. And bought a mint one that was assembled or something. We're not in this for the money. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes we are. Well, we have to pay our bills, but I mean we love the stuff. So Alright. <laughs> I can't wait to talk about D and D books for like seven hours. It's gonna be fun. What can I can I just read every passage from all the books? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll read, we'll read the books. <laughs> from below, insert the hatchet through the slot in the roof. Now, when they say from below, they mean below in the real world, not here, um, because this is actually below. I'm a little confused here. Did you stick that thing where the hatchet was supposed to go? No. Are you sure? Yeah, the hatchet goes. There's a little. Oh, okay. Notch here. All right, great. The hatchet um, goes through. If you look from below, there's a little. <laughs> Alicia, I'm just gonna sit here and read the, the uh, books. This is where the um, the black piece for the wall goes, and then the hatchet goes. There's a little divot in here. A divot. In the crack. Yes, the the crack divot. Right here, where the hatchet comes. Yes. You come up from underneath yes. with that. Yes. From below, insert the hatchet through the slot in the roof, then turn the hatchet so that the blade points to the rear. All right, so you put it through from underneath. You see, yeah. that, see that popping through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here? Yeah. And then you have to look at it underneath, and you have to turn the blade to the rear, which I'm doing right now. That makes sense, because and, it's like a little hammerhead. And there's, a, there's a little... Uh, Love it. There's a little notch inside there where the hatchet sits in. Okay. The last step, carefully put the roof aside. Do not turn it over. Carefully put the roof aside. I'm going to move my tools. <laughs> um, Alicia, so did you meet the D&D &D guy? Alicia, who do you mean? We've met a couple. 
uh, D and D guys. Who who specifically do you mean? Oh, she she was probably talking about the buy we went to the other day. Did you see oh, we're going to meet? Oh yeah. W- one of the things that prompted this uh, this start down the D and D path is that we just did a pretty serious. Uh, we just purchased a pretty serious uh, vintage D and D collection. Um, Alicia was here that day. Yeah, we, we went. We actually went right after she yep, left. Yeah, uh, I don't. Was it Sunday? I think it was Monday. Alicia, I think we went Monday. Um, no, it was Sunday. Sunday was Barter Town. We didn't go before Barter Town. Oh, it was Monday. It was Monday. Yeah, um, yeah. We picked up that stuff. It's a lot of uh, first edition A D and D and D and D modules, a couple box sets, um, a ton of books, a lot of stuff that I already have from my personal collection. Um, so that's going to be coming up on a Barter Town before yep, too long. Sure is. Um, all, right. all right. Next, what number are we on? We're on number three, so we're got Woo! two down. We're at what an hour and a half in on number uh, three of two down, fifteen. Two down and well, fifteen. Number fifteen is really easy. It just talks about the weapons rack. Okay. Um, ceiling. We're ready to work on the ceiling. Okay. On the ceiling. On the ceiling. Place the fangs. Well, because... let me see how this is mm. laid out. Mm-hmm. You're gonna want to show the people as well, but I need to see. All right, so where's the notch is on this side, okay. So they've got it upside down and facing... They have it facing the way it actually goes on the toy. Yeah, they have it facing this way. All right, okay. All right, so this is the page we're working with now, everybody. We're on number three. And it looks like we're going to be messing with the... The teeth. The teethuses. You'll be a dentist. Oh, God. (laughs) All right, what's it I don't know if you're singing. Are you singing... Are you singing from Rudolph, or are you singing from from um, <clears throat> Little Shop of Horrors? Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Which one? It's hard to tell. There's so many dentists in pop culture. Um, That's all Little right. Shop of Horrors. Are you ready? Yeah. On the ceiling, mm-hmm. place the fangs with the large tooth in the socket. So here's the ceiling, right? And this is it facing the way it goes in the toy. And then we're going to be putting the fangs like this. All right, so the fangs are in the socket. I bet we're going to be screwing next. We are going to be screwing next. <laughs> All right. I heard a great joke this week. <laughs> the one about getting hammered. <laughs> Should I tell it? <laughs> now kids are going to be watching this. Okay. My trusty DeWalt <laughs> No, blade. I have to look away. Look away, baby. Oh, I look-, <laughs> look away. So I looked away, and I accidentally looked over here where my monitor is and saw you doing it anyway. <laughs> Don't look me. Don't want you to see when I look into your uh, eyes. Uh, all right. You're getting ahead of yourself. Actually, no, you're not. Line up the screw holes in the ceiling with the screw holes in the fangs. Position screws and tighten. All right. So there's one screw hole in the in the fangs. This is pretty self-explanatory. Are the two fangs identical? Uh, ooh, good question. Because they're not specifying left and right or anything. Uh, yes. Are you sure? Yeah, they, they lay, the big tooth lays on the small tooth in the same spot okay. on both. All right. Just make Thank you sure. for saying that. No, yeah. that's fantastic. Could you do shots out of this? You could. This is, this is empty. The fact that I'm thinking of that is ridiculous. It's, the, the teeth are hollow until they meet in the center here. So you could definitely do shots of tequila out of this guy. Check that out. I didn't even stand straight. Why tequila? I don't know, because I just thought of it. Shouldn't it be like... Mead? You don't do shots of mead. Well, maybe like, um... Whiskey? No. Uh, skooma? There's no skooma, like, in D&D, but I like where your mind is. I would drink skooma out of a tooth, a fang, yeah, definitely. You'll be, is it you'll be a dentist? Is that the... You'll be a dentist! I'm not a musical fan, but you I, have I like that You talent for causing great pain. That, doing this street does not mean causing pain. Well, Steve Martin wanted to cause great pain. Do you feel like a dentist right now? Uh, boy. This is fun. Is it? Alicia said make sure the big tooth is on the right side. <laughs> yeah, that would suck if the little teeth were... He could be bottom heavy with fangs. Well, oh, that would go really well with this one with the eyeballs and the upside down. I'm not a fan of the, uh... Screws. I wish there was a better way to do this because I feel like the screws eventually uh, pull, 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 pull on the plastic. Or yeah. Do something with the plastic. Whoops. Oh. No breaking. <laughs> That's why I hate flatheads. Yes. Whoever invented flathead screws was dumb. 
And whoever invented no, Phillips they were screws. a genius. But but because no. the machinery to make screw heads. If you can make a straight line, you can make two straight lines. I guess cost effective. No. I'm I'm, I'm calling BS on that. No. If you can make a, a, a flat head, you can make a Phillips. I'm just, I'm... Well, Phillips isn't just two straight lines. It also has an indentation. Yeah, it goes up. Yeah, listen, it goes deep know. in, so yeah. it grabs really well. I don't. Yeah, you're right. I need to learn the history of the Phillips screw and screwdriver. It's right on Wikipedia. I'm not on Wikipedia right now. I'm I'm doing this with you. I love that I've got the other lazy Susan. We have so many lazy Susans. You'll be a dentist. All right. So those are screwed on. Mark said, "Don't tighten them until the ceiling is on top of the base." Why, Mark? So I can, so I have a little bit of. <laughs> it says position screws and tighten in the instructions, and we are following the instructions to the letter to see if, how if wrong I need, they if are. If I need to loosen them, I'll loosen them. <laughs> okay. But he, you know, Mark's probably he's done this wrong. seventy times. Yeah, he's not. Use Gorilla Glue. He's not. It's wrong. too messy. All right. So what's next? Next is ceiling again. So we're still on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. um, you've turned it right side up, which it did not ask you to do, and it doesn't want you to do. Right. Yep. We're back to this. Number four, we're on ceiling again. Mm -hmm. We're working with the slide and some stalactites now. All right, what's the first part? Insert the slide as shown slide. and push it until it snaps into place. As shown. See, this is I, before I I, sh I should like snaps, huh? Oh boy, I should um, be installing LEDs and stuff in this before we actually put it together. Wouldn't that be cool? You're like freaking me out with all the snapping and hammering and nailing and screwing and all the other things. All right. Is that snap? It doesn't look it, snapped. It snapped enough. Uh, yeah, it snapped. Okay. It's not snapped. It's snapped. <laughs> Press the nine small stalactites through the holes in the ceiling until they also snap into place. All right. Here's all the stalactites. These are all the same size, so you can't go wrong with them. They're all identical? Yep. Oh, oh I want to do one. This looks fun. Man, I really don't want to assemble this. I want to put Stop. some LEDs in it. Oh, I thought you were making fun of me for not saying I didn't want to assemble it and then deciding I wanted to assemble it. Mark Look, makes a good point. Coming off the sprues. Um, he never tightens screws when he's assembling something until he's totally ready to assemble all the pieces in case something's wrong. He doesn't want to strip the screws. He's completely right. You don't want to put too much pressure on the teeth either. Try not to. Same. There's an empty sprue. Oh, this pains me. This literally pains me. Like, I'm looking at this and I'm going, ah. I want to do the last one. All right. You'll be a dentist. All right, so that was very satisfying because I knew they weren't going to break. I'm actually going to, so if you look, there are holes in the mall. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn them so when you're looking at them. You can't see the holes from the front. You can't see the looking. holes from the front. Smart. That was an easy one. Three and four were easy. I'm, I'm feeling like we're getting the hang of this now. Oh, we're you, almost at the two hour mark. You can turn it from underneath anyway. <sighs> and pop that one. You'll be a dentist. Stuck in your head now, huh? It is, thank you. Every time I sing it, I have to give 12 cents to Universal Studios. All right. Wow, if these ever break off, putting replacements back in, you got to disassemble the whole thing. Disassemble. No, disassemble. All right, what's next? We're, we're on to five now. Are you ready for five? I'm ready for five. Ceiling and roof. Yep. Turn the ceiling assembly over and line it up with the roof assembly. Position four screws as shown and tighten. So basically, you're taking your roof yep. and you're bringing it over. And then you're taking your ceiling and putting it on upside down. That's ridiculous because, oh, I'm putting the ceiling on the roof. Okay. You're putting, yes, you're assembling it upside down. The roof is upside down, the ceiling is upside down, and then we're assembling them like that. All right. I'm actually pretty serious. Um, I really do, I think, want to install LEDs in this. Um, Mark just made a good suggestion. Um, get strong, bright red flex LEDs, which we can install on the base since it's hollow and the plastic is thin enough, it will illuminate the lava. 
That's not a bad idea. It's a great idea. I'm really interested in the ladder. Before we screw it all together, can we see how the ladder does? Yeah. It's really neat. You gotta make sure this is out, because the lever there. All right. Everything looks really good. Does that work? Mm, well, no, it comes down this way, so yes. Okay. <laughs> It looks good. All right, ladder. I'm just curious to see how it works. I think it still comes out. Oh no, it swings there. It'll swing and come down. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, but I don't think you can actually take it out. You can't. Uh, it, it oh. okay. You wouldn't want to. You don't need to. No, you don't need to. That's actually awesome. I love that. That's really cool. All right. So screw it together? Yep. That's the next step. And where are the screw holes? Let me see. How many screw holes? Four? Four. There are two on the inside of the... Right here. Yep. And then two and on then the outside. And there are two on the outside. I'm going to show the folks home. We're doing the bottom half. So the next step is to put labels on it. So, well, thank God we have the one here at the store because the labels for this were destroyed with the box. Uh, but... I think the reason it wants you to put the labels on now is because once it's assembled, it's almost impossible well, to put the labels on. I'm going to tell you something. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to screw it together insanely tight because I, that idea of putting LEDs in it, I'm going to order some LEDs tonight. You'll be a grand I'm not going to drill any holes or anything. But this thing will glow. Pretty cool. Mark's right. Some red ones in the bottom. Yeah. And uh, just some bright ones in the top, and it'll glow green. I think it's a great idea. So I ordered... Let's tell a story here. Go to camera one. Camera one? Camera two. One thing I realized I needed for this was new uh, decals. Because it didn't have decals. And without its eyes... And the lava. I mean, those decals really set this thing off. Um, Even if they're upside down. So I ordered a set overnight and paid like almost $40 shipping. That was... What day was Sunday. that? Monday. It was Sunday you made the purchase. It was Monday when he shipped them. So I, I purchased them Sunday night. And for overnight, he shipped them Monday morning. Today is... Thursday, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's Thursday the 20-something of February. 25th. Uh, still don't have them. So that's a thing. And we didn't want to postpone doing this again. So So I'm trying to get this ladder back into his nose. And there's not enough room for me to get it in. Unless you flex it or something, probably. Which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to go overboard with these screws. Because I want... Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Okay. Check that out. And then it still slides in. So this is the beginning of us doing a bunch of Dungeons and Dragons related stuff. And now it's stuck in there. <laughs> I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we're going to go crazy with D&D. &D. Um, I have some really cool, pretty rare stuff in my personal collection. And um, we're going to start talking about it. I'm not sure how much we should cram into one each episode. No, we're, there's going to be many D&D related episodes. Um, so do, do us a favor. If you're really into Dungeons & Dragons, the, we're going to do the toys, uh, you know, Tiamat, the figures. We'll break it up. We're all going to do the books. We're going to do the modules. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube. And uh, so you get, you know... Uh, What's it called? Notifications yes. when we um, go live and stuff. Um, yeah, Alicia really loves D and D too. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I have a lot. We have a lot to talk about. What's the next move after screwing these in? I feel like I'm watching a. Uh, we're making like a build a pocket door video, and this is the part that they would put in fast forward. You know, in like After Effects, it would, like, would go in fast forward. And... Should I do that when I edit this? No. Or should it just be seven hours of screwing screws? Maybe you should fast forward it. 
Uh, number six, base labels. Labels should be applied before further assembly. All right. Carefully peel labels off backing and we place them. We can skip them. the labels. We don't have I'm going to read it, though. Okay. okay. Yep. Carefully peel labels off backing and place them on base as shown on above drawing. Use pictures on the box for more information. Apply labels carefully. They will tear if removed from the toy. Um, Alicia just asked, uh, have we seen the D&D single player game? It's also a choose your own story. Um, Alicia, there's been tons of stuff like that. Um, I stopped playing or caring about D&D after second edition. So if it's newer than second edition, I'm not really familiar with it. Um, there were a lot of solo adventures. Um, Lion Castle is one that comes to mind. Um, there were a bunch of solo adventures back in the day. And also, the ladder is upside down. Thanks, Mark. That's probably why I got it stuck in there. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, endless quest books were similar. It was like a choose your own adventure book, but it was like a um, like a, a single player adventure, which is really cool. So this is basically the bottom jaw. These are the stairs we were showing you on that one. Um, if you look, now you can really see the inside, and the back wall is where those beautiful stickers wow, are. Look at the difference in color. This one is much more of like an olive color, and this is like a chartreuse. Well, chartreuse, more limey, lighter. It, now this is like a more of a yellowy orange, and this is like more of an, like an olivey kind of green. I wonder if that's over time. Wow. You know, so this is where the uh, stalagmites go, and this is the where the treasure is. So, start assembling. All right, number seven, treasure chest. All right. Assemble the treasure chest by inserting the long tab on the chest into the slot on the mound of gold. Then position the chest top so that the lower tabs on the rear wall are inside the chest. Slide downward so that the corner tabs fit outside the chest. All right, so you can. There's tabs in the chest. There's a. Should I go to camera two? Yeah. There's a uh, thin tab right in here hole. And then there's a longer tab on this side. And then you have the tabs on the back of the, the uh, top of the chest. And then you have the... Uh... It's funny how they assemble this. It, it, seems, it seems almost like... It's very weird. The yeah, back like... and, the, and the top of the chest are one piece. So there's tabs. You can see which tabs are, um, fit on the sides of the chest right. And so it goes around the gold there. That's the front. It has a longer tab. The back is still open because the lid has the back piece, and that slides in. Weird. Oh, you got to make sure you get it right. And don't break anything. Wow. That seems right. Mark painted his with testers model paint gold and detailed with a wash. Yes. Oh man, that's fancy. Well, yeah. So that that's beautiful. I, I, that to me is um. It's customizing. At that it point. is customizing. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm just I'm gonna other than repro stickers, which I'm fine with because if they're made from the original stickers, they look just like them. They're just better. You know, they're just clean, nice for stickers. It's just a sticker. Uh, when you get the painting and customizing or getting ladders stuck in the thing. <laughs> Uh, it takes away its originality. It's, it's original. So then there's it's even two more pegs. original than ever. There's two pegs in the bottom of the... Uh, of You're the... getting ahead of yourself. No, I didn't finish reading seven. All right. Slide downward so that the corner tab fits outside the chest. Push until the small bottom center tab clicks into the small slot in the mound of gold. We're done with number seven. On to number eight. We're halfway there, guys. Attach the treasure chest assembly to the base by lining up pins on the bottom of the assembly with holes in base. Those are the pins. And pressing... To fit, that is what we've got going on right and there. These are the. Well, we're gonna press to fit. I'm gonna look and make sure. <laughs> Please do it backwards so that you can stop being mad at me about the one that I messed up over here. Whenever do people break things as they're assembling them. A lot, I think a lot. Boom. All right, peg through. You can tell how tight those holes are, how brand wow. new this thing is. That is so neat, the way that it's one piece. Yep. So now you can open? see what the uh, That's so pretty. treasure looks like. I really like that. That's a inside. really cool one. Really and Mark's right. Lot. Painting this with like gold paint would make it really pop. I really can't get over the color differences between these two. 
I mean, this one is just so like yellowy, and it's almost translucent. Like I can almost see it's through it. It's just bright and new. You can. Yeah, I mean, you, you can, can see, see light through, through it. it. This one seems a lot more like opaque. Yeah. I guess because it's all doubled up and and together, but the color difference is really striking. And it, it, you can even see it on camera. So what's the next move? Next move is number nine. This is a lot going on here. Okay. Base assembly. Locate the two short stalagmites. There are 11 long ones. And attach them securely to the drawbridge base by pressing them onto the plugs. There are 11 long ones. That's right. So i got to attach these two, two. There's two different. Short side to front. All right. So the short side to the front of the thing, which makes it come down correctly. And these just slide on. And these are easily lost because all they do is they don't even pop or peg or click. They just slide onto these things here. Um, so then what? What did you say? I'm, I'm rereading what I just read and then getting to the next piece. Okay. Um, attach them securely to the drawbridge base by pressing them onto the plugs. To attach the drawbridge assembly to the base, line up the side pins with the slots on the base. Drawbridge assembly should have short side facing front. Yes, yeah, so obviously the problem with that, if you go to the camera one, whoever assembled this one, the one we had it earlier, pulled the Penelope put, and did it backwards. They put the long part <laughs> to the front, yes. which means it hits that and yes. can't go down. Yes, that's exactly what happens. Uh, I want to look and see if there's a sticker underneath of that. If there is, I'm not putting this in yet. There is absolutely a sticker. So I am it. not going to pop this into place until I put the sticker. So I'm just going to lay it here for now. So I can actually put the stickers on it. Oh, look how nice it looks. Wow. So even this is a different color green than this. Mm. Wow. Really neat. So Mark said they're friction locked. Um, and I'm sure I could pop that out. Um, but I it's gonna be it's gonna take some pressure and I really don't want to get into it. But all right. Well, so we can rehab this entire thing because now there's a ladder stuck in its nose too, so we're good. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, we'll rehab the whole we'll play it back to take together. It apart. Yeah. It'll be fun. We'll, we'll do a have, disassembly video yeah, next. You have so much experience now knowing where all the screws are. Yep. All right, what's yeah. next? Um drawbridge assembly should have short side facing front. Push down until pins snap into place. Yeah, I'm not gonna do Attach that. Attach the remaining long stalagmites and teeth so there's, as shown. As shown. Yep. Wow. Uh, so is there any rhyme or reason? No. They all look basically the same. What's All right. So if you really want to get into the minutia here, it looks like there's a, I don't know, three or four different molds of these things. This one stands out as odd. It's the only round one like that. Isn't that funny? This one actually has a hole in it. It looks like a short pour. And what is there, nine? So it's an odd number. There's five... Six, one, two, three, four, five. So there's weird. Put the shortest one like on the extra side. So there's six and five on either side. So for now, I'm gonna pop these on. I feel sick. I just pulled these teeth off. Ooh. Off of a sprue? Yeah, I didn't like it. It didn't feel good. Yeah, I'm not gonna push them down too hard yet either. Just kind of resting them on. And this is going to give you a good idea what the what it looks like inside. That is a nice looking piece. Super cool. So this, oh, so it's it's meant to be like kind yes. of here yep. and it leans there and they can correct. Up. Yep. Oh, I love it. That is correct. That's really cool. All right. So these little teeth, they're not really clear about how it's supposed to go. Which way do you want to do it? This way or this way? All right, so these are the little front teeth? Yeah. Maybe they the only go one way. bottom chompers? Maybe they only go one way. Uh, well, if you look, they are, they're arched slightly back, curved. slightly curved. So I'm going to yeah. curve them back into the mouth instead of out of the mouth. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it there is no, no be, perfect way. It might actually be bent like that if you look. It might have like a slight shape. So the front little teeth go right here. Boom. It looks cute. Small teeth, it actually says. With an F? No. <laughs> Small teeth? 
Alicia, I feel the same way. Alicia said that she feels like she would have broken something by now. I absolutely would have. I typically I would have, too. I did. I stuck this ladder in upside down in his nose, yeah. so I'm over it. Um, number 10. We only have five left. Um, top, level, and base. So now we have the base, and here, and then here is the top level. Has that been screwed already? We're all screwed in with that? I, like, I didn't screw it too tight because I don't, I don't want to strip them when I take them out. Okay. So now what? Place the top level assembly on the base assembly as shown. All right. Flipping over the top level, this is what we got. Everything works well. Here's the axe. The axe is a little loose because I didn't tighten this completely. And then we're going to... This is serious. I can't believe how long this is taking. Put it together like, here. What parent? Right? Yes. And there's probably screws. Oh, that thing is the top of the gate where the skulls go. Oh, I'm so excited. Never even seen that before. Yeah, that's its own little thing. That doesn't actually attach to this. No, think. the gate does. There's a gate. We've never, I've never even seen the gate. A gate goes up here next to that thing. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, line up screw holes in the rear of the top with the screw holes at the rear of the base. Right. Position and tighten two screws. From below, line up screw holes in base and screw holes in teeth. Position and tighten those two screws. All right. I am uh, just going to loosely put the screws on. Don't lose them. You actually have to turn it upside down. Are you not going to do that? After I put these on, I will. Okay. I'm going to these two first. The yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Veronica, I feel you. I definitely would have broken something by now. Alicia, this would have been the last assembly toy I would have bought my kid. Dude, it, <laughs> it was just a different time in the 80s. Now, I, if I was a dad, I'd be, I, I'd be like, listen, it's Christmas morning. I want to drink some damn eggnog and watch It's a Wonderful <laughs> Life. Uh, uh, this this is why mint in box USS flags still exist. I was going to I just ask you that. How, uh, if, is where on a scale of 1 to 10 is this assembly of this toy in difficulty? 1 being pull it out of the box and it's ready to go like a Nerf ball. <laughs> Ten being what? What is the scale of hardest? Defiant, uh, you know. How hard is attorney to put together with all those tracks? Pretty hard. <laughs> so this is this is probably like a six compared to the attorney. Yeah. And where's the flag? An eight. The flag nine? is actually fairly a simple build. So is this harder than the flag? Not just based on size. Like I understand the flag is bigger. Yes, because of all the screws. Flipping upside down, the flag doesn't have any screws. No screws in plastic. the Plastic. It's all plastic tabs. Yes. So, yeah, this is... Um, but that also makes it easily breakable. So, I'm wondering if the screws are actually better. I don't know. That looks great. Um, I'm not going to screw it together, though. So, what's next? Um, you're not going to do the bottom screws? Nope. Okay. Um, position tighten two screws. They are under here. Yep. We're not doing those? Nope. Um, 11, roof. Hollow side to rear arch tab eye labels. Insert arch into slots as shown until tabs click into place. Carefully attach the eye labels. Not upside down like our friend here did. You want to attach, you want to hand me the um, arch? Computer arch. Oh, so there are tabs on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think that one, so pull that one out. I don't think there's tabs on the sides of that one. I think it broke off. Bent? Are they supposed to be bent like that? Let me see what yours looks oh, like. Oh, they're crushed in. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, that's probably something that happens over time. Yeah, I'm going to camera too so you guys can see the differences there. Mine is crushed and crunched. And mine is new. Because it's nice and flat. If you can see that they're pushed in on the sides. And this one is Nothing nice yours. and stiff. <laughs> nice and stiff. You know, you can see that they're still sticking out. And right now I'm not going to force it in. I'm just going to kind of let it chill for a minute. <laughs> I'm not going to force it in. <laughs> uh, that, that's going down easily. I'm not just. I'm not going to like. Uh. All right. Yeah, this doesn't. Yeah, it's not even. Alicia said she never had a toy you had to assemble. Did you have to <laughs> assemble the pony castle? Yeah. Somewhat. I didn't have the pony castle as a kid though, so. I'm trying to think. I did so. I did have a. Um, I did have the Crystal Falls from Shira that had to be assembled. Um, we had the Slime Pit, the He-Man Slime Pit, um, that had to be assembled. Very simply assembled. Yeah, they'll pop together. Um, oh yeah, pop 
popped together, nothing screwed uh, together. Um, my Pony Waterfall, I believe, had a few screws in it because it had a ba plastic base and then it had the, the rainbow cloud assembly and a tube where the water could be recycled. What's next? Um, number 11, we didn't we didn't do the eye labels, obviously. Number 12, roof gates. This is exciting. I've never seen this before. All right, let us set this aside then. It's getting put in the top, so. Place two gates in holes in base. I'm not sure why you took that aside. We're not doing the jail. Base. We're doing the gates. It's, it, this is a piece you've never even seen before. It's a gate with the skull heads and the top. Wow. Yeah. All right, so that's this. Yes. This is the gate. I'm going to camera two so they can see what you're showing. Here, let me, let me grab it and put it in front of my... Actually, I put it in front of the instructions. You can see the gate there. Pretty neat. And this is the top archway of the gate. Yes. Wow, I've never had these pieces. I'm going to take them off the screws, Penelope. Well, I did that with one thing. I, I, did, the, I did the teeth. So we're on number 12 here. You folks at home can see. We're almost there. Smooth sailing. Only two hours in. We're good. <laughs> well, I hope this actually helps people put this thing together if they need help. All right. I'm going to do a little slight trimming. I should include the, uh, a picture of the instructions in the video at the end, maybe. Just like a JPEG or something like that I can stick over the image so people can get a hint of it. Just cleaning this up. I'm going to read the instructions. Uh, number 12, roof gates. Place two gates in holes in base. Press the tabs in gate top into holes in wall, making sure gate rods fit through openings in gate top. Let me see where that's at. Press the skulls into position on the top of rods. All right. So it's that's... literally right there where you're faced. It's right in front of the uh, trap yep, door. Yep, there are two small peg holes here. Um, Does it swing open? Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's two pieces. It's not showing me it as two pieces. It looks like it is, though, because this is a sprue, a tree sprue in, in the middle there. Oh, yeah. So the, so the gates, because this is too wide. This is, uh, oh, if you yes. try and put it in like this, it's too Place wide. Place two gates in holes in base. Yep. So you have to break them apart. Oh, God. <laughs> Mark said that he was the kind of dork who refused to use instructions to transform Transformers. Mark, me and Transformers do not get along at all. I cannot, I break things as soon as I touch them, they're gone, they're broken. I can't, I don't even touch Transformers. Like, I just make Justin do all of that stuff. <laughs> Are you taking them off the sprue? Yeah, I'm going to. I just wanted to see how it fit. It fits great. It fits amazingly. All right. Oh, no. I have to look away again. Mark said they split open. <laughs> mm. Yeah, there's a, there's a there's a black sprue in between. So it was it looked like there were just six or five. Rabbit. Yeah, it, it looks like one long thing, but it's really not. Like I said, uh, we've been selling toys for over a decade now i think i've seen one of these like i think I, and we've never actually had one it was just in like someone's collection where we went to buy stuff we, I, we've never actually had all this much um with the fortress of fangs oh the gates can swing open that's really cool yeah oh i'm so into this it has been a year since we played D D. I was DMing along with my sister for our group, and we really miss it quite a bit. The whole COVID thing is really preventing us from playing again. This has really got me reinvigorated. It's the, they don't, um... It'll stay better once you put the top on. Yes. Because the top goes through. It goes through the top, and it helps Yeah, you stabilize. can see these things, how easily these things will be to break. Yeah, absolutely. What were they thinking? What, what, what age kids is this for? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. So the bottom of the uh, it doesn't say gate, the sides, there's small holes, but it doesn't really go in that far. You don't force it. You should turn it around. Maybe stick it on here so the folks can, oh, no. can see. Because right now we're pretty boring. You're halfway off camera, and I'm just sitting here holding the instructions. All right, and <laughs> those actually peg in on top. 
Wow. wow. How cool Never is had that? the gates before. Turn around and show the folks. And then we'll put the skulls on. So here's the gates, and they open, and then there's the archway on top here. It's actually off camera, they can't see it. <laughs> you can go to camera one. Or pull back, yeah. Alright, so the gates are right here, and they swing open, and there's a black archway that really just looks like a plumbing uh, it looks like it holds a pipe up. We can put the skulls on it. But there you go. I'm really pumped about that. The skulls. I'm so excited about the skulls. I can't. I can't wait to put them on. All right. And they face away from the trapdoor. So they face the front of the building. Yeah. So the skulls have small holes on on the bottoms, and they just sit right on top of these. I don't want to force it though. Mm -mm. <laughs> this, this, the holes are shallow. They're not actually. They're quite deep, but they're square. Oh, you can actually use them to open the gates. Yes, that's part of the point, I think. All right. Alicia said she hasn't played D&D since high school, which was 20 years ago. All right, and the skulls make little turn styles. I want to play. Oh gosh, this is so cool! All yes, right. oh, I love it. Man, that really adds so much to the toy. That's really cool. All right, next. All right, skates we did. Oh, next up, number thirteen, the flying creature. It's in quotes, flying. Yeah. So when you look this thing up on like eBay and stuff, they call it the gargoyle or the throne. Um. But in the in they call it the flying creature. Flying there, huh? in quotation marks. Flying right. creature. Attach skull to throne by inserting pins in back of skull into holes in throne. All right. So the extra skull that uh, has a, a pin on the back goes on the throne. Like I said, I've never ever seen this thing complete like this. So there's the throne. The little skull. It's the there's two with the holes in the bottoms, and then there's the one. This Boom. one is also flat, wow. so it's easy Camera to tell the difference. Wow, camera that. That's really cool. That is really cool. Oh, that was camera two. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I had it zoomed way out. All How right. cool is that? That's the back of the throne with the skull on it. Very cool. All right. And down next. I bet this attaches to the... Um, man parts of the his, his little man parts here. yeah he definitely has man parts <laughs> is that next attach throne to creature by lining up screw hole in throne with screw hole in creature they're calling it his screw hole this is going to be painful guy <laughs> so there's a hole here in the throne <laughs> I'll bring it in front of the camera in front of the microphone so that people can actually see there's a hole here <laughs> that lines up with his <laughs> unfortunate bits. And this is about to get a little bit... Um, Obscene. Yeah, we're, there's a word yeah, for this. It's called uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> Dude, this guy, this poor guy. This is really a dungeon. I mean, no wonder he's screaming and has his tongue out. Right? right? He's I would not be, having a no, good time. I would not be either. All right. Carefully. Ooh, Mark said he's getting over. screwed. Yes, definitely. This is not a good way to get screwed. This is called docking. Justin. Don't Google that. <laughs> he's getting a Prince Albert. You guys have Prince Albert in a can? Or is that Prince Philip? I don't remember. All Those right. head screws. All right. That's on. Position screw and tighten. Line up pins in wings with holes in back of creature and press into position. 
Obviously, there's three holes back there, and there's three pegs in the back of the wings. You showed you showed it and didn't actually show the, the pegs. You were too too high. <laughs> three pegs in the backs of the wings. There you go. It's tough to see. It is a little tough to see. It's all good. I can't wait for that satisfying click sound. Is it a click? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll just press in. It gives him a widow's peak. Oh, yeah. This is a really cool throne. It is. I'm not going to go crazy pushing this in. Who's supposed to sit in the throne? Uh, War Duke? I don't know. Kellick? Mark, do not press too hard. These are the most fragile parts of the toy. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, get it stuck. <laughs> I, I could tell, Mark, that pushing this is just going to bend that plastic. And now, there are pegs underneath him? Yep. Right? What is the is that to screw? What is that for? It's the random. I, I have no idea. Huh. There's nothing on the instructions about that. Nope. Are you kidding me? Nothing there. I think it's just the back of his screw hole from the front. Oh they were just cheap yeah and yeah. Made it. They were cheap and made it. Yep. There's a random hole in his back, and we're trying to figure out why. It seems like it's just the whole hole. This he does not peg down into it. There's no pegs on the bottom of him. Well, that's very strange. Where is that supposed to go then? I don't know how this is supposed to stand there. It doesn't say on there? No. Um, do those pegs go it, like, sort of rest inside here so that it can't get knocked off? Maybe. That's that's a, that's a cheap possibility. Yeah, no wonder he's never here. He falls off and breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of ridiculous, actually. He just sits there? You're, uh, it's off, totally off camera. You might want to put it on a little bit more. Kallik is usually pictured on the throne. That Mark, that makes sense. I said Kallik. Yeah. ASMR jiggling. <laughs> Pull that plastic out. Pull that plastic out there. Sorry. Just trying to make it. I'm going to go back to camera a while. Yep. Because that is boring as hell. There we go. All right. So he, I assume he just sits here. The he kind of has a little bit of uh There's three small pegs on there that look like, like Star Wars or G.I. Joe figure pegs. That, that set him, just so he doesn't slide too easily, but, but moving this, he will fall. So, there's a couple, there's one more, there's, um, but there's two more instructions. directly in front of the trap door. So, as you get to his the throne, see, see where the trap door is? Yes. It's there's open. not actually a seat on the throne. Why are we calling it a throne? I don't know. There's don't not know. a seat there at all. Where, why are we calling it a throne? That's really weird. Right. Um, another question I have is, why is there a random peg hole right here? What is that for? I don't know. Wow, it's just like random screw. crap. Um, is that a first screw? Is that what it's for? That makes sense. Yeah, that's the screws. Okay. Number 14, the jail. To assemble jail, locate notches in cross beams against bars and press together. Position jail inside the fortress against stalagmites or outside against a wall to form a prison cell. So yeah, that jail we have over there is pretty close to complete, yeah. but it's not perfect position against the, the fortress against stalagmites where just like inside here or somewhere yeah. oh yeah yeah okay so it could be a natural jail just in here so so like the jail where you can like do what you want with it they should have done that with the treasure as well where you could just put it anywhere you want Ooh. Don't cut off anything important. <laughs> Mark said that the the throne is weird because the figure didn't have the figures didn't have knee joints, which is a really good point. The figures sit spread eagle. <laughs> or they just stand there like cutely. All right, here is the D and D prison. I'm gonna cut it off of this tree. Oh my gosh! You're not cutting off anything important, right? Oh man. Ugh. Ugh. Where did Dad, you awesome? broke my jail. So the jail just goes together. It's one main piece. Then there are, um, on the smaller pieces, there are little uh, hooks that just kind of click onto the end of a railing. And it makes it be able to hinge. Nothing uh, like I a guess. fresh new toy that everything is tight and, you know, 
unplayed with. All right, and there's a complete jail, which I guess you could just put it in here. Yeah, you can stick it like I did over here against the... Oh no, there's like a little spot for it over here. Hold on. Mm, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, you got me. I'm gonna put it right... It said against the stalagmites, but there's not really anywhere from the go. It wants to sit here, but it doesn't fit. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the back here. Or so you the can jail's it, in. Yes, you can stick it in the, to the back against the outside, All right. I said. And last but not least, the weapons rack. Use the weapons rack to hold swords, shields, knives, etc. Weapons may be purchased separately. Here's the weapons rack. I've never seen one in person. It's awesome. So it has two grooves in the bottom so that when you sit your shield or your swords, they don't fall over. Yep. It's got um, multiple little niblets at the top here. Some of them are notches and some of them are actual holes through it. And then the top is for a staff. Will you do me a favor? I'm not getting up. Okay. <laughs> I'm not getting up again. It's We're almost done, and, it, and it I've gotten up four times. It doesn't say what to do with the... Um, it does not have any instructions about the extra stones. The four it stones. It does not have any instructions about the gargoyle throne, uh, how he attaches, if he attaches, or where he should be positioned. Um, there's not even a picture of him. It's just him disassembled. I'm going to place the stones up here. Just randomly. Do they fit around the button? Uh, I don't know. Like, Maybe. they might fit, like, perfectly around it? They do a good job camouflaging it, though. I love it. So they're there. Do you want to stick this bad boy on the roundabout or not? Yeah. Okay. Take all the trees off. This is the refuse left. <laughs> all the trees. And the weapon rack, of course. And the weapon rack. Weapon rack is awesome. Put him yeah. inside for now. I got him. <laughs> Gotta remember it's not completely screwed together because I am going to add LEDs to this bamboo. I love it. I can actually move that over to you. F is for Farpoint Toys. <laughs> if you enjoyed any part of this <laughs> way too long review, Here, let's please center, subscribe. Let's center it and have them two side by side. He's blind. Man, the uh, eyes, the even eyes though the really eyes are upside down it. on that, the eyes the really, eyes really it, yeah. are an important aspect of this toy. Um, please subscribe. We're going to keep doing this kind of stuff. You know, we like to just sit and talk and basically play with toys like we just did. Gosh, look at the color difference. It's so obvious. Yep. Uh, every Sunday over on our Facebook page at 5 p.m., we do a live claim sale where we kind of do the same thing. We go off on tangents. We talk. We have a great community. Um, and we sell things and it's a claim sale. It's a lot of fun. There's also a Patreon, which will come up here in a matter of seconds. <laughs> um, subscribe to our Patreon. You'll be able to take part in these videos like Mr. Mark. Uh, I, I challenge you to think, you know, more than he does. <laughs> There's only one person I think I know that knows more than Mark of, of across the board about things. And I think it's Mark Belomo, Another mark. This is not Mark Below. All the marks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we are we are uh, masters of uh, none, but but we're, what's the word? We're not, we're um we're good at a lot of things, but masters <laughs> gonna, of none. I was gonna a, a jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, that's I us. think what you're trying to that's go exactly for. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. That's not true. I consider myself a master of a few. Veronica things. said Barter Town's a highlighter for a week. That's amazing to hear. We love that. Um, we sell all kinds of stuff. This week coming up is um. Yeah, I haven't actually launched that event yet. I should yeah. probably do that. Um, what are we selling this week? Do we even know yet? Toys. Oh, of course. A lot. I I believe it's going to be a lot of superhero. Uh, Marvel, DC. DC Marvel uh, not to get into that, you know. We're, we're, this oh, is yeah. a, a YouTube video; it's going to be here forever. It's uh, it's the great thing about Barter Town is that it's always different, but it's uh, as Justin likes to say, "Come for the toys and stay for the conversation." Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Hopefully, my yeah. stickers come soon. I'm mad at the USPS, but I know it's not. I have friends that are postal workers. It's not really the I, deliverer the guy's fault. The color difference. I just really cannot get over it. It's so. This is green, and that is like an olive yellow chartreuse color. What's with them awesome. face each other? They took my face off. Did you just push that hey, forward? Hey, Jim. What do you, why is your ladder upside down? You got to say, why don't you have eyes? 
All Instead, right. I'm going to say thank you for watching from our Twitter right now. We'll see you.